Hello, 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 and welcome to a live wash uh, deal here. So that's fun. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we did something like this, but I think it would be fun to wash a car live, answer some questions, since obviously Thanksgiving is taking up our Thursday this week. We thought we'd just kind of adjust things, and your Tuesday is now your Q&A Thursday just for this week. But uh, we wanted to add an extra element, so we're washing a car too. Our very own editor, Anthony's Forrester. So you can look forward to that in a moment. Uh, why don't we start things off, though, by taking a look at how dirty this thing actually is? Because I know, I know, everybody always says, oh, you're washing a clean car. It's dirty, guys. So let's take a look at that. Well, uh, delicious. Yeah, that looks like uh, something worth cleaning. So not only will we be cleaning the outside, but also the inside. And to talk more about that, I've got Levi and Anthony over at the workstation. Guys, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Dane? It's weird because we're just like movie magic. <laughs> it feels like we're in a different space, but we're not. We're about 10 feet away from we're Dane. We're about 10 feet That's away okay. from Dane, but you can't see that. Anyway. Point is, you're right, we are here to work on Anthony's, uh, Anthony Blaine's vehicle. This little Subaru shuttles the kids around, does a little yard duty, dog yeah. carrier, all that good stuff. It's also his daily driver. So we thought we need a clean car. We want to do these wash and talks. We haven't done any for a while. So we yeah. thought, why not? Let's get back into it. Exactly. And so it gives us a chance to play with some products, right? Some right. new and exciting things that are coming to the rag company uh, pretty soon, right? And uh, it's also something that we get to pay it forward, right? That's right. See, everybody wants to know, hey, when can my car get clean? When can my car get clean? It's and Anthony's been in line now for quite some time. He right? has. And so uh, after we clean it, there's some scratches we want to remove as well. You know, a dog jumped on the side of it. We're going to fix those for him. Uh, but it's a hot commodity, right? Yeah. Being able to get your car washed here. I don't even get my car washed here anymore. I, I know. We don't even have time to do it because everybody wants to get theirs done. I know, so it's too long of a list. So Maybe we should start charging. We get to have fun today. We should start charging. <laughs> Anthony, that's $200 now. Um, it's going to be fun today. We have Dane over there as the MC. He's going to be over there answering questions and doing everything as, as he can over there. And I'll be probably stopping over there to answer questions as well. Uh, but the idea is just to kind of hang out, relax, see a car get cleaned before your eyes um, with me and Levi and, yeah. you know, and have some fun. Uh, now, one product I'm really excited to talk about really quick. Okay, go for it. So we're going to be doing a foam wash. We're going to be doing, you know, bucket, you know, wheels, you know, you, the, the whole works, right? We're going to be getting this thing cleaned up. But we did find out that here within the next, hopefully, hopefully several weeks, we are going to be seeing active foam from Coach Kemi. Now, active foam has been on the top of my list of mm -hmm. things that I have been wanting because we've played with it for about a year now. And it's amazing. It's, it's literally really good. It's like it's like everything that I would want in a cleaning uh, snow foam, right? Mm -hmm. Something with about a pH of nine point five is where it's sitting, and so it's got a little bit more alkaline cleaning power to it. But it is very um, aromatic. It's very like I mean the scent is insane. It smells good. It, really it's good. So it's like a sandalwood kind of scent. So uh, we have some of that where we're going to be foaming onto the vehicle today is kind of a pre-soak, a pre-wash. And then in the bucket, we actually have Nano Magic Shampoo. So the idea is to have some cleaning power, but then replace that protection with some Nano Magic. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. And then we're also going to kind of clean up the interior. We're going to, it's got some dog hair. We're going to give it a vacuum. We're going to wipe down some of the plastics and, yeah. and all the seats and all that using some all surface cleaner and yep. top star. And then of course we're gonna add a little fresh up. Spruce it up. Little, little, little spritz, put it in the air. Wish, so it, was, wish it was fresh crappy. up for men, but you know. <laughs> it's all right. I'll, I'll, ta I'll take it. Point is, like Dane said, uh, and, you know, ask away. He's just 10 feet over. So we'll actually be able to hear him. And he's Aha. asking us questions because he can shout at us while we're washing. Hey guys, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What's so, your favorite towel for this job? Yeah, yeah whatever so, it may be. No questions too crazy. Please ask away. But again, sit back, relax, have some fun, and uh, let's get washing. Let's get to it. 
All right. All right, well, Dave, take it away. <laughs> While well, you guys get started over there, I'm going to start dipping into these comments, of which there are already quite a few, actually. Where's our Brit stuff? So uh, I'm going to start with Tim here, who posted this Brit comment seven anything? hours ago. What on earth? I'm here. Let's go to Arby's, says Tim. So thank you for that, Tim. <laughs> uh, and then, popping over, I've got Dan Pfeiffer, of course. Good old Dan. Everybody knows. Wash and chat, word up TRC, let's go, says Dan. And I can't tell if the guys are, well, they're a little preoccupied, but that's all right. We've got Sean Prinz here saying, these are really fun. How are you guys doing? So Levi, Anthony, how are you guys doing? We're good. It's, uh, good. I'm leaving tomorrow for Utah. So You're leaving? This is great. Super excited. We'll start a little vacation, a little uh, Thanksgiving vacation. What's your plan? Where are you, you going to go? Uh, going to my sister-in-law's. They're currently in Sweden right now, so I hope they get back Whoa. today so that we can see them for the holiday Are they going to bring any souvenirs? I don't know. We'll see. Do you want anything fun? It'd be nice. Meatballs what, what, what don't are travel the, What do well. the Swedes do best? Chocolate? Uh, right now they're looking at air guns. <laughs> that's odd. So that's because uh, they're, they're a big supplier of air guns in North America, oh. and they get them from a manufacturer in Sweden. So. They did a little, little Germany tour, a little Sweden tour. Oh, very cool. And they're uh, going to be headed home. So uh, it'll be fun to talk to them about their travels yeah. and uh, such and see how everything's going. So right now, you're doing a pre-spray with Green Star. So the dilution on that, I'm guessing, by the looks of it, probably five to one. And so he's going around. Basically, this car really doesn't have a whole lot of protection on it in the first place, so we're going to replace that protection with Nano Magic. Uh, but he's going around knocking out the lowers here along with the wheels and tires. And so the alkaline cleaning ability is going to start breaking down a lot of that browning from the tire. And it's also going to start cleaning that inner wheel well pretty nice, well, you know, less agitation needed. And it kind of pre-treats the wheels. And so we are going to be going back over the wheels with another wheel cleaner. Um, we can use Magic Wheel Cleaner. We can use Green Star. We can bust out another product from another brand. But I mean, we're going to get the wheels nice and clean, get those cleaned up as well. Um, and after he makes his way around here, I'm actually going to start rinsing the whole car from top to bottom. And uh, yeah, then after that, we're going to start foaming, right? And so at right now, Green Star, it doesn't really have a, I wouldn't call it a, a good smell. It's not a bad smell either. It's just kind of like an all purpose cleaner smell. But what's crazy is once we start foaming this active foam that is coming to the rag company soon, you guys will see what I'm talking about. It is wild. It is a pre-treating foam that can also be used. You can also agitate it. You can also use it in a bucket. Um, it is uh, less aggressive than super foam, um, but both of them have like an emphasis on smell. And as you guys know, I love that kind of stuff. And um, I think it's going to be really fun. So we're going to have the uh, active foam. And then after that, we're going to come back through with the, um, the bucket wash with Nano Magic and then have some protection in it. So uh, I'm going to start rinsing. That, that green star. Whew. Yeah, Power. going. So I took the kids to Pojo's last night. Yeah. Uh, let's just say Augie and I hit a jackpot. What? We walked out of there with over a thousand tickets. A thousand? Yeah. Thousand fifty tickets. What does that What does that get you? How many airheads does that get you for? Uh, it gave Augie almost. Uh, he could have probably got fifty airheads if he wanted to. Oh man. But, uh, we uh, we split it up. I had him split it 50-50. Yeah. But uh, it was a good time. We had a great time. It's like a uh, child Vegas. <laughs> it is like a child's Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. It sets in that Lots gambling of, addiction at a young age. Yes, it does. What would you say? Would you say that your son, Augie, could potentially be addicted oh, to gambling? He is He is more for the game <laughs> of chance. You know, he's a, uh, he loves Lady Fortuna like his own mother. Yeah. And uh, he will do everything he can to uh, play the odds. Games of chance and skill. He's right? a big fan of those. <laughs> So what I like to do is when going through, obviously everybody's going to have a different way of kind of pre-treating things. Levi really likes to get into the wheel wells and nooks and crannies. I when like I getting hand, that stuff done first. When I hand you a pressure washer, you like dive into it. I love right? it. I'm like, what are you doing? It's like you're going into war. You grab this thing over your shoulder, you dive in, you're yeah. crawling on the ground, you're upside down, you're spraying yeah, this thing. Yeah, I am. And Just I'm like, like that. Belly you, crawling through it. But you clean a lot of dirty cars. And I what clean do I a clean? lot of dirty I cars. I clean a lot of well-maintained cars. You do. It's a difference. It's there's, a difference there's, there's, a, there's a difference there, right? But going through, knocking everything else out, 
Now, the reason why I'm not trying to introduce too much water, especially right now in today's video, is because this mat, once it gets a little wet, it's a little slippery. Yeah, we but thanks to our friends over where, Levi? Oh, you mean our friends at Brooks Running? Yes. Staying comfortable, walking around on this floor, not slipping and sliding on our mat because we've got a plenty of traction. <laughs> Rocking those Ghost, Ghost 13. We literally all ended up wearing the same. We did. Shoes it was today. very strange that we was all not on wore purpose. Ghost 13 yeah. today. Yeah, it just happened. Like Dane's so, got his pair on. You and I have Dane, our pair on. What do you think Even about yours? Glenn, one of our camera operators, talk to has us, one. Dane. We I have a segment Brooks. producer, Anthony Blaine, whose car this is, also has his on. Really great stuff. Quality shoes, quality price. <laughs> It's amazing. You get these two guys talking and they'll miss out on the boatload of comments. Don't worry, guys. I'll get them to talk. Um, okay, so I've got Detail Dude over here in Poland saying, Hey, TRC, hope you're having a great day because I sure am because Rags to Riches is finally available in Poland. Bought the gallon as well as the little guy to go along. Very nice. So hopefully I get some kind of reaction. I don't have a reaction. That's just the way it goes. All right. Sorry, detail, dude. I'm thinking the Petra Watchers overpowered their ability to hear me. We're working on it. All right. So next up here, I'm going to keep going down the line. I've got Alexander Linares here. Alexander, thank you from Medellin, Colombia. Oh, very cool. All right. Then I got Classic Umberto, first from Puerto Rico. Hello, TRC team. Followed by B.W. Williams. Hello, boys. Jonathan Rosa here. Thank you. TRC is to shiz. Love the product. Which better, Dream Maker or Paint Gloss for a drying game? Well, I'll go ahead and put my two cents in there. I think it depends on the condition of the paint. When you're going in there, if you're going to be going for something where you want to have that extra pop, you get Dream Maker, you want to have that extra gloss. But if you're simply concerned about having a drying aid and you want to have a little cleaning ability and you don't necessarily care about having crazy pop, you could definitely use paint gloss for that. Dream Maker or paint gloss for a drying aid? Yeah, I kind of helped walk him through it. So you can yeah. offer your two cents though. Basically so, as a drying aid. So both can be great as a drying aid. I mean, honestly, so paint gloss is going to have a little bit more protection because it's got a little bit of wax in it, right? Or like, like a quick detail it normally would have. And then, oh, I have the camera on me. I was looking over at paint. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so uh, paint gloss is a little more protection. So you'll get maybe, you know, maybe a couple weeks of protection out of paint gloss, maybe about a week. It just really kind of depends. Um, but overall though, Paint gloss does have some cleaning ability to it, right? So let's just say if your wash wasn't as great as what you hoped it to be, maybe you missed a couple spots, paint gloss would be a great drying aid for that reason because it does have some cleaning power and will also be able to kind of clean up some messy areas. But for uh, Dream Maker as a drying aid, it's really simple. I mean, basically if you have a wet car, maybe a spray, two sprays per panel, work the product in completely, um, flip it, you're gonna get gloss from it. Um, you're gonna get a little bit of slickness out of it as well. But you really can't go wrong with either or, it just depends on the purpose, right? So Dream Maker for me is gonna be my go-to because I have a coated car, I have a car that's already got a ton of protection on it. I don't need any more protection. I know that my washing method is pretty good. I miss some spots every once in a while, but overall it's pretty good. And so um, I like to go straight into Dream Maker because I'm gonna have the gloss. It's gonna last several days. Uh, the slickness is gonna stick around for a little bit as well. And um, I just, I kind of, more partial to it, I guess you could say. All, All right, right, Anthony, I got another one for you here. Okay. I actually have several. This one's 14 minutes old, so that's how many comments we have. We have a lot. Okay. Nice. So I got Yo Hurl here asking the real questions. Happy holidays to the TRC staff. When washing a car, how wet should your water be? It should be pretty wet, you know. You, you, you want wettest your, water you available. Want, you, want, you want like a pretty good wetness. I mean, like on a scale of one to 10, like I think it's like 93% wetness is what you want to go for. Okay. Um, and wetness has nothing to do with humidity. So wetness is kind of its own thing <laughs> that you would measure. So, I mean, like right now I'm looking at like probably 43% wetness right now. So really we need to get this water wetter. I like how we're just dancing around using the word moist. I'm glad nobody said moist, you know, cause it's really annoying when people say moist. Anyway, I got Hans clothes in here. Hans popping in saying, happy wash Tuesday, brothers and sisters. Hey, and Hans, how are you? Then I've got David Cervantes. Dane, 
You guys treat us so well. David, it's because of viewers like you that we keep doing this. We love having you guys in the audience, and we have fun doing these washes for you guys on live stream. And then I got Dan Pfeiffer popping in saying hello. Jamie, obviously popping in saying Tuesdays are for cues now, I see. And everybody kind of saying hello to each other. Let's go ahead here. I know I have Tuesdays some questions. Tuesdays are for the boys here. and the girls. <laughs> uh, all right. So next up, I've got Alex. Alex is asking, hey, guys, and Tony Tuesday, would you recommend PSS and Top Star with a sprayer head? So Top Star, yes. PSS, probably not. Just because the PSS overspray, I feel like it just could be messier. I think Top Star could be better in a sprayer. Um, yeah. I think it is better in a sprayer. We've thrown a sprayer on Top Star. Um, it's viscous enough to where you can, I mean, you can spray it. There's not really any issues there. But I think PSS, because it does have a little bit of solvent in it, I don't know how safe it would be for a sprayer for long-term use, but I also would just wouldn't want to deal with any overspray mess, right? Because when you're spraying something like PSS, you want to be more accurate with it because it's going on particular yeah. rubber and plastic parts. I feel like PSS, kind of treat it like you do when you have Ulex. You probably shouldn't be using a sprayer with it. Yes, we've done it before, but I don't really recommend it as a standard practice. Let's trade you real quick. So, yeah. just Can we to answer be fair. those? Oh, okay. Oh, Levi's going to be rinsing, rinsing some wheels here. So, um, oh. so the next step here, what we're going to do after this, so Levi's gone around, he already knocked out the wheels, everything's been sprayed down. So my plan is to uh, lay down some active foam. Now with active foam, you can go straight into agitation if you would like to, right? So the idea is that you're spraying something with a pH of 9.5 on the surface, allowing that to start breaking down a lot of that soilage, a lot of that dirt and whatever else is on, on the surface. Traffic film, as many of you like to say. Um, and you can go straight into agitation. Now, the trade-off there is that the, at a pH of 9.5, it could break down some minor protection you have on your car, right? So it might, I wouldn't say it's going to deteriorate a wax, but it might kind of lessen the life of something like that, or maybe even a sealant. So ideally, unless you plan on resealing the car or going back over it, um, you would want to rinse that foam off, right? So they use this as a pre-treatment and a lot of car wash tunnels along with super foam. So this will be a pre-treatment foam that gets agitated or doesn't get agitated. And in this case today, just to try to teach like a good overall method, we are going to foam it and then rinse it like they would do over in, you know, in Europe over there and then go into a two bucket or a one bucket wash uh, with Nano Magic Shampoo. So we're not gonna let the product sit on there long enough to deteriorate protection as just kind of a showing you a, a good routine, basically. And so just enough to have some cleaning power, knock it down, and then go back into it with a bucket wash. Um, but again, if you don't really care about the protection underneath, or if you're planning on re-adding protection, then you can go straight into agitation from there. So I'm going to attach this. Now, Levi, are you ready for the smell? I'm ready. I'm are you ready. excited? Smells like magic the wheel cleaner at the moment. Do you so. like the smell of active foam? I haven't smelled it in a while. What? Yeah, I think since uh, I keep last my, week I when keep we it, put it in Carolyn's car. I keep it at my desk and I just, I just uh, take, take a couple hits. Take yeah, hit. I don't what's know. called aromatherapy. It is aromatherapy. It's it a little stressful. You take a hit and it feels good. That's exactly what it is. And so uh, let's go ahead and lay this down. There we go. So we're gonna let this work, and you're gonna find that active foam does have some good stickiness to it, right? So the second it hits the surface, it has good cleaning ability, and will also start pulling things downward, right? So um, just the act of, you know, the laws of physics, right, and gravity, it's going to help pull maybe loose contaminants off the surface, but because of the cleaning power that the foam has, it's going to start breaking the base of where a lot of those contaminants are attached to the clear coat, and then pulling those down as well, safely, that is. So, um, I love it, it smells so good. This is my favorite thing right now. Yeah. This smell yeah. with just foaming 
mm -hmm. is like. Oh, there it is. Now I caught it. You smell that, dude? Yeah, it smells great. It's like great. sandalwood, right? But it is like max therapy. Yeah. Well, Dayton was talking to me earlier also, about. Glenn is wearing most of it. <laughs> so she she walked right oh, over. Oh, great. But Dayton was telling things. me how the other day, how he went to a barber shop, right? Mm. And had, it was kind of like a male pampering session oh. is what it was, oh, right? Oh, very nice. There was hot towels. Wow. There was a sense of like, like, like mint and eucalyptus and tea tree. Impressive. And Dane, with this sandalwood, does this bring you back to last week when you were getting groomed? I love that feeling. I really do. It's a wonderful sensation. And I advise many of you out there who've considered it, go ahead, follow up your uh, I do have so many questions okay. for you guys. Shoot, I, I want to like pull aside Shoot. one of you guys, let's, let's bring go. you over. What do we got? And let's let's chat about some hey, stuff. Let me over grab here. a stool. One of All our right, yeah. chairs. Come on down. That way I can uh, have a seat while we let this <laughs> I'm stuff. I'm just gonna work. pop them right here on the stool. We'll do that. But in the meantime, you can go back and watch them over there. All right. So. Oh, I need to get on the actually. Other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This side. <laughs> can I get a shot back here of me foaming a little bit? There you go. So Levi and I will talk while you work. Yeah. Okay, I want to get a shot back here. So because there's just so many, okay. we got 20 minutes old. Right. So Jamie did notice right away that the canyon sprayers on the IKs would change. So what's the deal with those sprayers? Uh, so yeah, we ditched personally here at Rag Company solely for our back wall. Yeah, it was aesthetic. It was an aesthetic. I made the call that we should just get some gold tokels uh, because I like the look of a gold sprayer on a black and white bottle. And I thought it just would look cool. So we called up our local tokel distributor, uh, MVP Distributing, and, and uh, ordered 30 spray heads <laughs> basically from them. Good. So that's, uh, that's what we used. You can, one of the great things about the IK sprayer is you can use any stock sprayer. Now, they do come specced with a canyon sprayer. We used a tokel on it. So okay. that way we could, uh, we could just have a cool feature of having the black and white <laughs> uh, bottle with the gold sprayer. So, all right. Really quick, so uh, if I can borrow the camera for a quick second. Um, so I'm gonna let this dwell on here for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. It doesn't need long. So you can see it kind of already went from being a really clingy foam to you can see it kind of pulling down and kind of having a, like a waterfall effect, a snail trail effect, right? And uh, once I start to kind of see it pulling down to where it's kind of partially there, that's when I'm gonna go through and rinse it. Now, if I was doing this in direct sunlight, I would probably foam it, and by the time I made it around a car, I'd probably already start rinsing it. I wouldn't let it sit on there for that long. Not that it's not safe in direct sunlight, it's just when you have something that's a little bit stronger than pH balance in direct sunlight, you wanna work a little bit faster. So um, being in an indoor environment, we could let this sit for, I don't know, five minutes, 10 minutes, and it wouldn't be an issue. So um, I'm gonna go through and rinse it, get all of it off of there, and then we're gonna go into a bucket wash with Nanomagic and replace any of that protection we may have pulled off, may have pulled off, and uh, get it looking a little bit nicer. Does that okay. sound good? All right, all right. thank cool. you, Anthony. All right, Han says, no more crooked lines on the IK sprayers. Well, we, we have had to replace a couple of those. Uh, yeah, just a bit. Alex asking, when will the hoodies be restocked? Hopefully <laughs> soon. Uh, we've been working on those guys. Um, we do have a new hoodie that we're releasing that I think everybody will like, uh, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. Uh, and then Joshua Ken says, whoever took that photo for the thumbnail, it looks amazing. That was Dane. Oh, took that. well, that was great. In fairness, Jimmy took the video that I then cropped and edited the photos of, oh, so a little credit okay. to Jimmy there. Right. He actually shot but the you took uh, video. A, but the video... You oh, but I took the photo of you photo. guys eating against the white I'm assuming you're here. talking about these two I don't know if you're talking guys, about me and Anthony. <laughs> I think that's what Anthony you're talking about, Anthony had some noodles, you had a Pepsi. I just snapped yeah. that with my phone real quick because I needed something yep. you guys didn't know what was going on. Yo, girl, uh, Yo, says, uh, I heard APC pre-treating on coated cars. Does it degrade the coatings too much? Uh, depending on how you dilute it and depending on the APC you use. So proper dilution, 5 to 1, 10 to 1, whatever you feel like you want to do, um, never go full strength. You want to go full strength, you'll probably break the coating, especially some of the lower end coatings. Okay. Han saying, or do you guys foam up Dane? No, we, we can later. Uh, G. Davis <laughs> is Dane, fresh off the set of the seductive <laughs> Adventures of MacGyver. <laughs> And then I must have missed that series. So when are we getting that Dane Eats episode? Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say, that. just wait till you know, you've got a belly full of turkey and then maybe check YouTube. Uh, yeah, Alex Carrillo, what are those sprayer heads on the IKs? Again, a tokel. It's a gold acid uh, um, safe sprayer. All right. This Jesse, one's for you. Levi, any lodging recommendations in Salt Lake or air travel tips for someone 
who has never flown before and who is scared to, asking for a friend who will hopefully be flying to Salt Lake in January. Mm. Uh, travel tips, download the uh, app of the airline that you're flying on because you never know when you're gonna be on a plane that doesn't have TVs. True. Second, uh, and the main reason for that is then you can watch their movies via their app. So you can watch any of their movies. So, you know, we were flying from, uh, from uh, we went to Las Vegas for SEMA and we flew Southwest. Normally we fly Delta. Delta usually always puts a TV in the back of their headrest. Yeah. Southwest does not. No. So we, uh, you want to make sure you got the app because you had to download the app. You had to download blah, blah, blah to get in to watch the video. So download it prior to your flight. Also, they have bag tracking options. They have all kinds of stuff. And then your check-in, your automatic, you can do all the stuff from your phone. So do that. Second, travel solution uh, entertainment package. Yeah. I like an iPad, an Amazon Fire 10 is a very inexpensive option. They're about 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can get them refurbished. And honestly, I only use mine for TV apps. That's it. So I can watch movies and I can download stuff to it. I get a little, little uh, SD card, throw it yeah. in there. And, yeah. and you got 256 gigabytes and you can watch whatever you want. Um, so that's a good one. Uh, headphones, good noise canceling headphones. I have various options based on what I want to listen to or what I'm at. Many planes are different uh, yeah. levels of build quality, we'll put it that way. <laughs> some are older planes, some are newer, some rattle, some don't. So uh, don't ever just trust your like iPhone headphones no. that come with a thing. You may not be able to even hear what's going on. <laughs> so good set of headphones is key. Uh, there's a ton of great options on Amazon for noise canceling. Anthony's yeah. got a pair of Sony WH-1000s, I believe. Mm. Those things are wicked. Best noise canceling available. They're part of the all-day Anthony travel solution Those are package. Those over-ear guys. Yeah, they're yeah. great, great is, ones. Is that um, magic shampoo? Yes, it is. Do you mind if I borrow it? You want to use some? I mean, some I guess if you're going to. Put it in there. So I'd like to use some of it. I'm going to put it in the bucket, right? I, I thought right. it was already in the bucket. Do a, no, I'm going to put a little bit more in the Ooh, bucket, oh, right? Oh, nice. he's going heavy. I put like a little bit, just okay. enough to turn it yellow. But I'm going to put just a little bit more inside of here. Put a little more in. I like that. But what's crazy Mm. is that Anthony sees his car all the time. But I think that this looks quite a bit oh, cleaner. It's very glossy. It's Can looking already tell. pretty yeah. good. I know it's wet right now and it's holding onto a lot of water, but yeah. it, that broke down a lot it of looks that great. surface stuff. Yeah. And so, I'm excited uh, to start washing on it. Yeah, when do you want to do it? Mm. Right now, in a minute. Let me okay. cut through these so we can catch up. <laughs> <laughs> or, Getting started. Or I can rotate yeah. you guys. Don't, don't. Does, right. does, does, we maybe trade. Levi we doesn't want to do this. Yeah. No, I can do it. Does anybody else want to help right. me? Maybe somebody can, in the comments. We can totally do that. Someone in the comments. behind in the comments. I just have so help. many that I want to get Dane, you got to go faster. That's what I'm trying to burn up a page. You guys kept talking over me. I'm going to burn up a page for you. So, lodging recommendations in Salt Lake. I don't. But again, Home to Suites by Hilton provides great accommodations wherever you want to stay. Uh, and then, JB, what time are the doorbusters dropping? Well, you need to know that. You need to sign up for the newsletter. The details, go to theragcompany.com, uh, and it will hit on Black so Friday for sure. So make sure. And then uh, Super Chat from David Cervantes. How awesome. Saying, I'm going to hit you guys a harder one. What or who is the one thing or person you miss or enjoy most? Mine is having one large Thanksgiving. Mm. Um, I'm going to have a large Thanksgiving this weekend. I'm yeah. pretty excited about it. Haven't had one in a couple, couple years, so I'm very yeah. excited about that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That's me. What do you think, Dane? It's family. That's what it's okay. about. You go, you hang out with them. If you don't see them very often, that's usually one of the few times you all get together. There you go. I like that's special. I like so. it. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Anthony? What am I doing? Well, no, what's one thing you what, like or miss? Or what is most special to you for that? For Thanksgiving? Yeah, Han says Morgan. <laughs> so. What? Are you guys asking me what my favorite thing for Thanksgiving? What's, what's one thing that you miss the most or, or uh, enjoy the most? About Thanksgiving? Or Thanksgiving or it, anything. It's phrased a little. Something that you're thankful for this year. Oh. I'm, th I'm thankful for my daughter and I'm thankful for Honda Civics. There Perfect. we go. There See, you go. That works. Just like that. <laughs> That's it, though. Okay, oh, there come all the cut. Hopefully, wow. my wife's not watching. I was gonna say, boy, I think <laughs> Katie feels a little left out right now. Uh, we got Jamie the cleaner here, saying, Oop, "Wrong one." I'm in charge of the turkey this year. Should I smoke it, fry it, or just shove it in the oven? Gobble gobble. Uh, what do you think? Oh my! I mean, God. I, I like the idea all of, three of those methods. It. So. 
<laughs> think you can really go wrong. To each their own. All right, so <laughs> you could just stuff it full of microfiber towels. That would not be appetizing, nor healthy, nor do I condone such behavior. Jimmy, that's a bad suggestion. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I got yo Hurl here. I knew I would love the answer. Thank you. That was to the uh, how wet should your water be comment. Uh, and then I've got G Davis, classic. When I think of high percentage of wetness, I think of Anthony. All day moistness. That's a hashtag. Mm. Oh, really? oh, thank you for that. That's, uh, quite the compliment. <laughs> also, Sean Prince putting out a random thoughts on Adam's polishes. Well, we actually know Adam. Yeah. Thoughts on them is that they're good products. Yeah. Tony's Kitchen. Yeah, I'm confused what he means by that, but good products. And a good guy. Yeah. Uh, I've got David Sanchez here. Have any of you ever sealed your vehicles with a kiss? Sealed the what? Sealed Have them with a kiss? Have you ever sealed your vehicle with a kiss? I do all the time. Every vehicle that comes out of the MOSHQ gets a kiss. Where do you kiss it? Uh, just mostly the air. Oh. Uh, I don't actually kiss a car. You, you, don't, you don't blow it a kiss? or Sometimes I do, yeah. Interesting. So what's funny, Levi, is that Nano Magic is not a high foaming shampoo. No, but right? it's cool to see the water behavior change. It's cool to see the water behavior change because like, just like you can see right here, all the beads forming right on an area that I just kind of walked by, you know, after kind of going over and passing over it. But I mean, the beads will formate and like, and will for, formate, have a, formate, have a formation. And um, it's, yeah, it's kind of cool to see, but it's different, right? Cause you go from active foam where it's just so foamy and then you go to Nano Magic, which really is not foamy at all. You're kind of like, am I even doing anything? Yeah. But then you see the water behavior change as you start wiping, it's pretty cool. But again, the reason to put the two together, active foam really does break down and remove a lot of the dirt that's stuck on the surface. Oh yeah. And then the Nano Magic comes in and replaces a lot of that protection and, and adds protection. Okay. Rear, rear's done? Almost. Grant Hawtrey popping in wants to say, what's funny is I'm washing a 30-foot motorhome while listening to this, <laughs> loving the dad bod and beard, Anthony. <laughs> So, you know, enjoy it. I need to do something about the dad bod. <laughs> Maybe uh, the UK <laughs> cut 3.0 returns. Oh man, Hans here. It's gonna have to, I think, star. January 1st for sure. Oh, Orange Pearl applicator. Thank you, Hans. All right, so next up I got David Cervantes here. Another podcast brought this debate up. How do you guys feel about cornbread? Cornbread versus biscuit. I'm a biscuit guy. I'm myself. a cornbread guy. I am. I like both of them. When I go to Cracker Barrel, I live dangerously by asking for both. Mmm. Okay. Eh, I just love a good buttermilk biscuit. A um, biscuit. That answers that. Now I've got Scott Mattern here saying, "Good afternoon, guys. Suppose I want to apply a sealant, but I normally top with Dream Maker. Is it best to do a decontamination wash, yeah. or will Dream Maker be removed with a normal wash?" Feel like they just straight up ignored me, Anthony. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Well, show them how Nano Magic, how the water behavior works, with how it kind of shrinks and sheets itself too. Anyways, moving on. Okay. All right. All right. So I asked you guys a question, and it's like you guys didn't even hear me. What is I it? I swear, it feels like I'm back in okay, the studio here we go. again. Hit me. Going back here. Hit All right. Me. I'll pop it back up again. There we go. We got Scott asking the real questions. Good afternoon, guys. Suppose I want to apply a sealant, but I normally top with Dreammaker. Is it best to do a decon wash, or will Dreammaker be removed with a normal wash? Suppose I want to apply a sealant, but I normally top with Dreammaker. Is it best to do a decon? Yeah, I would just do a decontamination wash. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I mean, I would just, or just not even like a full decontamination wash, but maybe just a little bit of soap, a little bit of all-purpose cleaner in it, and just kind of get it done up. Uh, you could also just do like an IPA wipe down if you wanted to do that, if you're not wanting to go with like a full paint prep. Um, just do like an IPA wipe down, or even like, uh, for example, a PNS paint prep is pretty, pretty mild, and so you could use that um, after doing a wash just to have a you know, better adherence of the sealant. So. Okay. I'd, be, I'd be a way to do it. Yeah. 
Now, I've actually got a whole page here worth of comments, so if okay. you want to help me with these, absolutely. It's probably easier when I have one of you guys up here, because then I know at least I'm going to get an answer. Oh, I'm so. hearing some sounds <laughs> back there. That, it's mm. coming out of a bucket, right? Yeah. yeah. So, Aaron's here asking. Do the IK Trigger Sprayer get a new head, or you added, so we added those ourselves. So basically yeah. those are just, those are gold to toco sprayers. Levi preferred those over the Canyon sprayers. He doesn't like the Dragon Mist like I do. Mm. I'm all about the Dragon Mist. Well, also it was convenient, at least for me, which was the whole gold and black thing, you know, Capital Eagles, oh, uh, yeah. back to the high school days. That's fun. Um, I keep saying suggestions for Tony's Tony's kitchen over here, and I feel like oh, we're kind of holding that off till later. We're not talking about yeah, that we'll, just yet. We don't, we don't need but, to talk about you know, that just, just maybe yet. Maybe little teasers. Just, I, I see questions coming, but don't worry. We'll get those in a little bit. All right, next up, I've got Steven here. Says, uh, Levi in all black looks like he's ready to listen to minor threat <laughs> and aggressively wash his car solely with the wheel and body brush. Wow. That's not too far from the truth, you know, <laughs> if we're being honest here. Left to his own devices, Levi is one fast, efficient you gotta, dude. You, you got to keep that wheel and body brush the, away the from brush, him, yeah. <laughs> all right, we got Tyler here. Says, do you always use distilled water to dilute your chemicals? I do at home, yes. Here at the Rag Company, Sometimes. <laughs> it's, it depends. So it depends on what we're doing. But at my house, yeah, I always use distilled water. Then uh, mm -hmm. Tyler also says. Um, also, you're all an inspiration. That's very nice. I learned so much from you guys. Keep the good work. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Tyler. All right. I've got Ivan here asking, what is a good strong soap for a pre-wash to get heavy dirt and grime loose? Well, we're just using it. Uh, active <laughs> foam from Coach Chemi is great. Uh, citrus wash or citrus foam from uh, G Technic is also fantastic. Um, but next week here, or within the next couple of weeks, we should be getting both active foam and super foam from Coach Chemi, um, which I'm really excited about. And we used active foam today and it smells Awesome. Like a men's day spa in here, right? All we're missing is Dane's <laughs> massage chair to really oh take it to the next level. Maybe we can wait on that one. All right, Alex Duar here popping in saying, Happy Tuesday. I'll have to catch this one later. Alex, you're missing out, but don't worry. Given enough time, you'll watch it. Then you won't have missed out, so that's good. But we appreciate you being here just for a second anyway. Uh, poets. <laughs> Dane looks like he's just... Um, uh, we're I'm hoping I look like that this Friday. That's all I this know. This Friday? No, so that's, that's, that's when it might actually happen. We'll see. Uh, I've got Ricardo here popping in asking, hey, what's up, TRC crew? Yeah, I also changed my sprayers to Tolco. Those Canyon sprayers really dig into your hand after long periods of use. I find if it's a heavier, you know, you know, if you, if you have, if you a have full a bottle, filled, yeah. it weighs a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, that's right. I don't really fill, if I, you know, at my, at my house with the Canyon sprayers, I never really fill those bottles up to the point where it's like, it's uncomfortable or it causes discomfort. You're just using what you need. Yeah, I just use what I need. Yeah. Levi, what are you spraying over there? Is the car not washed yet? It's washed, I'm drying it off. Oh, here. are you using a drying aid? I'm using a little FSC as a drying aid. Ooh, oh, we don't have washed uh, hasn't, issues, but. Probably but, hasn't had a lot of, but, a lot of, uh, Water spot or mineral removal. And what well, you, that that what, back and, window had spots and, and, on it. Yeah, I did have spots on it. Are you using a liquidator? I'm using a liquidator, a little FSE. Yeah. Love a good liquidator. Yeah, we do. All right, so I've got... Look at that, look at that mist from <laughs> those Tolkos, though. That still looks pretty good to me. Oh, Aaron's popping in with the download Disney Plus offline. Yes, you could do that for your travel as well. You uh, download am... it. You can download it direct to your tablet or your phone or whatever you want to watch. True. A little button on there. Do you carry anything <laughs> to remove bug residue on a road trip? So yes, we do. So we actually have PNS Bug Off and we also have the G-Technic Bug Remover as well. Um, those are things that I wouldn't use unless you plan on washing them or um, uh, essentially neutralizing them. You need to rinse when you're you need to, You need to rinse them. when you use something like that. But on a road trip, if you're looking for something to spot clean, like let's just say you're getting to it before it really bakes on, just a nice quick detailer, you know, to take with yeah. you. You know, whether it's the uh, PNS paint gloss would be a good one. You could take like the Koch Chemi um, QS is a good one. You could take G Technics quick detailer. Um, a lot of good options there, really. You can, you can use a lot. The uh, or PNS is their waterless wash, right? They're Epic. Yeah. Epic waterless That's good stuff. wash. Yeah. And, you could uh, definitely use something like that. That has a little more cleaning power. All right, next I've got Poets here saying, Anthony, are you recording your progress on the Recaro seats? So I haven't started yet on those. They're still in my garage. 
I'm not, I'm not sure what my plan is. I actually need to call an upholstery shop today and see if I can try to find a, a, a close match for the fabric. It's, it's like a 3D mesh material I need to track down. Um, but after that, though, I might record, or if we, take, if we bring it here to the rag company, uh, a seat cleaning video or something. But I want to get started on them because the, they look really sad right now. Oh. And I want to fix them up and make them look nice. They're so. pretty greasy right now. They I are. I saw the pictures. Yeah, little, it's little, not. They're a little, little grungy. A lot, lot of hot days spent in those things, probably wearing shorts. Yikes. No. All right, Aaron's uh, here. <laughs> uh, tip for, um, tip, tip, top tip top for tip. diluting chemicals. Um, add the line where the chemical's on. Uh, the eight ounce, you can put an example on a line, put a three. So basically saying that you could take a, take a Sharpie, right? Yeah. Mark the bottle, is that what you're trying to say? I think that's the impression I'm getting. That, that, no, that's a great idea. I mean, and that, yeah. especially if it's gonna be the same bottle that you're always gonna be putting the same chemical in, you can absolutely do that, right? Once you do the hard measurements and that, let's just say the bottle doesn't have a hash mark there where it needs to, just take a Sharpie or take something and make a mark into it. And that way you always know what to fill it up to. So yeah, that is a great tip there, Aaron. All right, thank you. Then we've got Mazina here saying, if you could use only one detailing brand for the rest of your life, which brand would it be to make it easier? Do categories like if price didn't matter, or if price matters, or has most product. Wow. Okay, going so, very. So uh, if I can use only one here. detailing brand for the rest of my life, I'm going to choose the Rag Company. Ooh. Ooh, that means you're also <laughs> be getting all our brand. Yeah, I see what he's doing. So can I do that? <laughs> I just want, yeah, I mean, I'll just use the rag company. I mean. I think you just upset Mazzino a lot, but that's okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to say, man? I can't, can't well, say. I, can't. I think one part that gets overlooked a lot is if we carry it here at the rag company, it's because you guys actually signed off on it. Yeah, we love it. So yeah. It's vouched for. So the whole point of us carrying like the specific products and stuff we do is because these guys both agreed it belongs in the lineup. If they didn't, it wouldn't be here. So yeah. make of that what you will. But that applies to all yeah. that stuff. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Well, otherwise we'd have 160 different brands. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's we don't. We have <laughs> the danger. There's a reason you don't get certain products from us. There's a reason that you guys ask, why haven't you tried this? Why haven't you tried that? We try a lot of products. We only yes, sell we do. products that we like using. Car's looking pretty good, Levi. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. It is. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. All right, I got Dino. Says, uh, hello, guys. How do you guys clean door jam on a trunk door? Mm. Um, I have a really hard deposit of something where uh, the water drains from the rear glass. It's like mixed dirt and water spotting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a tough area. Um, the really, I mean, the answer is to stay up on it and is to constantly maintain it, especially if it's your own vehicle. If you can remember to wipe that area out with every wash, you will have a far less accumulation of stuff. I mean, basically- It builds and, over time. It doesn't well, just happen once. And, and I use, I use like my throwaway towels or I use towels that I've demoted. Like let's just say towels that I've used for a coating in the past or maybe sure. towels that um, you know, I've used you know, for wheel cleaning for so many years and they d deteriorated. Yeah. I'll grab a towel like that, you know, load it up with some O&R and then go through and try to scoop some of that stuff out, especially if it's like dirt buildup, especially if it's like leaves and whatnot. Um, you know, scoop it and then flip to a different clean side and try to clean out the best I can. Um, for some of the stuff that's like really on there, taking like a detail factory brush, a boar's hair brush, mm -hmm. a little bit of APC is great. And you can actually pre-treat those areas uh, before your wash, right? So if you have a, a accumulation of dirt built up there, you pre-treat those jams with APC and then during your wash, just like you've said, where the water drains, that water will actually clean out that APC and flow it out from that area. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a drainage channel for rain and runoff and stuff, so of course it's always gonna be the place well, stuff ends up. Well, think about it like this, right? You got gutters in your house, right, Dane? Yeah. When's the last time you cleaned your gutters? It was actually about two months ago. Exactly, right? <laughs> but if you were to stay up on that gutter cleaning, right? Oh, yeah. Every six months, would you have spotless gutters? Well, if you had asked me how long the last time I washed it before that would have been, I would have said about eight years. <laughs> See what I mean, right? So think of them as your gutters, right? The more you can clean and maintain those gutters, the less work you're going to have in the future, right? Yeah. And it's going to create a nice, smoother channel for runoff. Totally You can agree. even wax your gutters. Not, I mean, I'm saying, wow. you, can, you can wax your channels. 
You can mind you, in the gutter. You okay, can wax your so crevices. no, no, I'm, I'm saying you can do some things about it. So Brian McHale here saying looks like a willy nilly wash job. I don't know if that's a compliment or a dig. Willy nilly wash job, huh? <laughs> Have that guy come in here and help me wash this car. <laughs> yeah, Brian, Brian you want to help that's, Levi that's right now? <laughs> so, so this isn't some crazy, like right now, guys, this isn't some crazy high production methodical wash. You have to think about it. We're doing this live. We're also trying so to answer questions. We at don't the same have time. six different camera angles and we're not going to do all the <laughs> sexy. There's no wrong way to wash a car. If the car's clean at the end of it, did you do your job? Yeah. Now, yeah. There are levels. Yeah. Right. Well, and then there's levels of, oh, we need to impress the internet because there's you can't just also do things the fact anymore. that this car was filthy and we're getting it clean, which is a huge deal. There's also a ton, what you don't see is a ton of hard water on that vehicle. Yeah. So, massive amount of water spots all over the thing. So, if this was perfect, we would make sure to not scratch the surface. But yeah. because this paint isn't perfect and needs a lot more work, we are getting it clean and decontaminated. There's different versions of washing. So well, I yep. think what people like to see is they like to see like brushing of the emblems. They yeah. like to see, you know, wiping out the wiper blades. They like to see a lot of different things like that. And that's something where normally if it was a production, you know, a production thing, or maybe if it was even like a therapeutic wash session where we weren't filming mm -hmm. or there wasn't a live audience, absolutely. But yeah. when you have a live audience, you're a little bit more time pressed and you have to move a little faster. Well, in a live so stream, you have kind of a sexy. time constraint, perhaps an artificial one that you make for yourself, but it's a way to keep things moving. So yeah. you definitely have to uh, look out for that as well. Yeah. Now, I did see here David just asking if the Master of Shine has gone back to his hugging, hugging days or if he's still distancing. He uh, has still been distancing. Yeah. He's not hugging too often nowadays. I haven't he, seen too much I, of that. And, and, and you can see it in his mood, really. Oh, right? yeah. So the longer he goes without a hug, you know, the more grumpy he gets. That's right. very That's hard at SEMA to not hug every while. single person that I saw there. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you that right now. So he had to show a lot of resistance. And what's, so another one of Levi's powers is to be able to remember people's names for years and years and yep. years after he meets them. Now, what happens is his powers start to dwindle mm -hmm. when he doesn't hug people. Correct. Right? He doesn't get that <clears> connection. And so he starts looking at people and he's like, who are you? And it's like, Le he's like, Levi, I'm your father. I'm starting right? to have yeah. to start. And I've had to ask his Anthony. I've had to ask Anthony many times, who's that person? And he goes, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't remember that stuff. It's really I go, duh, can't even right. catch a break. I got Jody here with a real question for you. Is active foam good in a foam gun to use as a pre-wash? Yeah, that's exactly what we did. Yeah, yep. active that's, foam that's what it's designed for. That's what it was designed for. Active foam and super foam are both foaming pre-treatments that can be used in a bucket as well if you'd like to, um, but it's exactly that. It's a pre-wash solution um, and I think that the US, well not the US, but I mean I think that we're finally starting to bring in more products mm -hmm. from Europe that have that ability or were designed for that use, yeah. right? Because that's just not a common practice. It's that more we have popular here. over there than it is here. Well, our common practice here has always been to maybe pre-treat things with an APC and like lower panels and do things yeah. like that. Um, but then we Targeted, just targeted specific. Yeah, we use a yeah. pH balanced foam or a pH balanced soap for for a long time. We never really you know shifted too far from that. Or if we needed extra cleaning power, it just mean more APC for the most part. But seeing the stuff that they kind of create over there on the other. Uh, the other side of the pond yeah. uh, is definitely uh, cool and it's fun and it's very, again, very therapeutic. Well, anytime somebody gets the chance to foam a car, they're usually not going to say no. Yeah, it's just yeah. fun. It's a ton so, of fun. They're looking for those opportunities. Ah, and so I think I should point this out before I move on to another comment. You guys always ask us in these videos how the mat gets maintained around here because as you know we don't have drains in this building there's no drain in the floor back I there wish. this is all done through a capture mat it and is. uh levi can you explain for the folks at home how does a capture mat work i know it seems obvious but hey there's some people out there who may want to know it's like a big bath mat captures all our liquid we've taken out the big barrier here mostly because it was a stressful for lowered cars. So we kept getting them caught, so we just pulled them out. <laughs> but basically what we do is squeeze it all over to a sump pump. That sump pump sucks it out and runs down the back of the wall and into our utility sink. And so a lot of it is just squeegeeing water over to the pump and letting the pump suck up some of this liquid. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's not rocket science, guys, but at the same time, I know I see this comment pop up in every video wherever you wash a car, so I wanted to point it out just for folks who wanted to see what it looks like in real time. Because 
in our videos we shoot, it's usually not the sexy part of the video, so we don't bother showing that part, but there are people who want to know. So yeah. that's what so it looks pump. like when you're done washing the car. It's like a pump and dump situation. You could look at it that way, just don't be a chump about it. Okay, so Richard here, we've got Richard. Hi TRC, what dilution ratio did you use for tires? I think, again, I think I wanna say that was like five to one on Green Star, it was about, it was about that, that he was pre-treating with. Um, 10 to one is typically what we use for mostly everything with Green Star. Mm -hmm. um, interior would be like 20 to one, you can go 30 to one. But most of the time it's 10 to one on the exterior for Green Star, but with wheels and tires, you dip down to like that five to one, you get, a, you get to remove a lot more of that, that, uh, that browning, right? You get okay. to really bloom those tires out. Eliminate the bloom. All right, we got Jamie here. Thank you, Jimmy, for the great suggestion. I will definitely stuff that turkey with some eagles and eaglets for the kids. That sounds violent and terrible. That's like <sighs> the worst version of turducken I've ever heard. Yeah, it's just sometimes you can only do so much with birds. You yeah, know, that's just and... a lot of birds going on there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's have some horrible had... like disease that hasn't <laughs> have you had a turducken? found its way into people. Have you had a turducken? Turducken? Turducken. Have you I had a turducken? Once. Where would you find that at? Somebody else had a like a, a holiday party. It wasn't Thanksgiving. It was like between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and they offered it a party. I'm like, yeah, I'll try that. Would you good. like? Would you like mo most the duck or the the turkey? Could you even it, tell which it, was what? I, I don't know what was what. I just had it. I just yeah. <laughs> I, I just think it's strange shoving another animal in another animal. Hmm. You know what I mean? That's strange. And on that note, I'm sending Anthony back to go clean the car, but I need to grab Levi and bring him over to help answer a few more of these. <laughs> That's right, Anthony. That's how I get You're going, out? You're going back to the mine. All okay, right. Here we go. <laughs> Levi, I'm going to take it over from here. Are we moving this out of here? Uh, I don't know where we're parking it, but we can pull it out and start vacuuming it and blowing this it out. Smells great. Mmm. Okay. And Move don't worry, guys. These guys are here. still going to do the. I think we are going to be car. moving this uh, forward. I think is what we're going to be doing. Is if we can move this forward, and so because um, we don't want to vacuum here on the wet mat, so we're going to get this uh, all cleaned up over here. Yeehaw! Yeah, we're going to get this. Uh, Glenn, can we get this? That is camera? a wet shoe. <laughs> Scoot it back just a little bit, and we'll pull this one over here. Transformative studio. Levi or uh, Anthony, keys in the car. <laughs> Apologies to uh, headphone users. Be... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is dirty inside here. This is going to be exciting. Thank Anthony. <laughs> Anthony just discovered how dirty it is inside. That'll be fun. All right, so if you guys are going to scoot it forward, you perhaps with me? we can do it. Yeah, it's kind of. Right here. Diagonal behind me here. I think it's gonna go right there. there All right. In front of the mat. Cool. Um, oh, we got an interior shot oh, of him driving nice. it. That's great. Let's go to Anthony's camera. <laughs> Let's check his driving skills in real mm -hmm. time. <laughs> uh, Please don't run us over. Ah, yes, Danny here. No, Danny, we're not. Those are the <laughs> Ghost GTXs. They would be great, but currently we're just running Ghost 13s. Mm. Uh, but the Ghost GTXs, which are Gore-Tex, uh, are a great detailing shoe. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the one that Brooks actually recommends yep. to be used when you're washing and cleaning and doing all that kind of stuff. So yeah. uh, pretty nice, comfortable shoe. Same construction as the Brooks Ghost. Difference is it's just made with Gore-Tex. So that's on my uh, wish list. Give me Good one of those. Call. I got mm. Ivan Campuzano here. Yes. So we've got our three main cams. And then we have two camera uh, iPhone uh, 13s on cameras. So I think that on, one's a 12 on mounts. Pro Max but yeah, but they're they're one, both yeah. on there running uh, just on mounts using a uh, uh, app that allows us to beam it into here. <laughs> and then uh, wanting to know what Kim, what gimbal are they using? Oh, uh, I believe that is in Osmo, but it's a phone style Osmo. Okay, now. there you go. Nick is in my ear, but it's a little static. All I'm right. Sorry. Um, yeah. So then I've got J. Are you waiting? TM. 
H902. I don't know which one that is. I so don't thank know you, what Jim. That's if you could uh, let us know, Dane's massage chair has more <laughs> chemical attachments than the TRC garage. True. Oh yikes! <laughs> and then Han says Levi is flying with drying that car. He might have done that a few times prior. Yeah, I don't mess around. I don't waste time. No. Many people watch me work and they're like, "Oh my gosh, you're sure like you not taking the spot any time." Or, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just go fast. That's just how I am. He just does uh, it. Matt or C2V3 after that. Yeah, we could. Uh, the biggest thing is we do want to vacuum it. We'll probably put something on it after. I put FSC on there. So it's got a nice gloss on it, nice shine, but it does have a lot of little things that it really needs polished. Okay, I've got Aaron's here. You uh, should you try, try Grio Garage detailing seat. Yeah, you know, it's, I've seen it. it's a great unique. seat. I used to actually really like that seat a lot, um, but I really like my uh, red uh, Viper chair, mm. the uh, Steel Max. Uh, I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, Things a tank. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mazina, I just have seven or eight different brands on my shelf and I want to consolidate to less brands to make it easier on myself, more organized. That's why I'm asking. Uh, Cameron, so the honestly, man, anything we carry, you know that. You come here anyway. We haven't seen you since the baby was born, but uh, you guys, realistically, Anything we carry is fine. Don't yeah. try chasing after the latest and greatest because sometimes it's not really the latest and greatest. It depends on the product and the brand. Uh, Aaron says, I have three or four products for detailing needs. APC dressing and a car wash. I don't need specific cleaner for one job. APC diluted, a proper dilution. Yep, you're right. And that's how a lot of guys start out until you really want to start focusing on a more specialized yeah. setup. Look at those mats. Mm. All right, moving All right. on. Aaron's here. Yeah, but I, again, I try to wash without using a seat. That's just me. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to wash while sitting on a seat. I'll use it when I have to polish. Fair enough. Uh, Dino. Dino says he bought a car a few months ago, hit it with Green Star 1 to 5, but it doesn't go anywhere. Most likely I'll take some KC H9 on that thing. Oh, there you go. You may have to. Mm -hmm. um, and Jamie the Cleaner says there's nothing willy-nilly about <laughs> using two different KCX soaps. That's a high dollar wash job. That's there you go. Premium Thank wash you, right there. <laughs> uh, and David. Okay, since Levi told me to take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen, he is not of consideration for advice sometimes. So, Dane and Anthony, how would you go about keeping a relationship fun and alive? I feel it's waning. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, is this? What? That is great, David. Thank you. Yeah, he's just saying my advice isn't good because oh, I, I'd no. say take that much. Yeah, I actually, don't, don't I actually do that recommend regular. you That's take bad. a, a <laughs> thousand milligrams, a, not 800. Oh, boy. Thousand. So... That's where I'm at. All right. Yeah, if you want a horror story, just look up on like YouTube what uh, too much ibuprofen does to a body. Yeah, there you well. go. Uh, <laughs> David M., do you remember the brand of that mat? Oh, the capture mat? Yeah, we bought it from Detail Plus, custom made for us by yeah, uh, our very own thing. Keith Duplessis. Go to detailplus.com. Yeah, they're based out of Oregon. Yep. Yep. Jamie the cleaner, my Turgle's gonna be the bell of the ball at this year's cleaner's giving. <laughs> Turgle, oh, <laughs> no. That's awesome. Uh, and David, how fast, oh, how was it when receiving your Air Force One detail team badges in 2017? You, best, you bestowed them upon y'all? Mm. How was it when receiving? Oh, it's cool, it's one of those you know, to be able to have that or at least be able to do it. Anthony and I literally polished engine number four. We got in the engine, we got out the engine. Yeah. We did the whole thing, me and Anthony on some ladders. Dane was filming the whole kit and caboodle for us. Uh, really cool, fun fun to be part of history. It's well, a lot of work. Yes, it's a lot of work. It's a Those lot guys, of work. when they're done polishing aluminum, they oh. leave looking like yeah. they just yeah, They got on a coal mine. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of work. So it's kind of a nice, uh, it's a nice feeling to be a part of that program and still be a part of it every year. Um, we just haven't been up since 2018 was the last time we went up there. Yeah, We have the picture in our entryway here in the yep. studio to our office. It's the first thing everybody seems to comment on when they drop it due. They go, Air Force One? Wow. Yep. yep. You know, they're looking at it and like, what's the story with that? And it's almost always Anthony Blaine behind the camera there who happens to be nearby and then has to explain it. Despite having never gone to that, Anthony seems yeah. to tell the story more than anybody because he's, he's just like, great. well, yeah. everybody asks. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think we've got just another question or two before we go to break here. Did you pull a couple of tiles out so the pump sits lower? So there's no tiles there, Richard. It's just concrete that the mat is sitting on. Mm -hmm. So yes, it does create that 
kind of a dip down already. Okay, this is the last one before we go to break here. It was just a okay. comment saying, Koshemi upgrades H901 to H902 available in December. Okay. Well, I don't know what H901 or H902 is, so I'm very excited to learn about it. Hmm. Uh, Ricardo B, is active foam stronger than GSF with Green Star mixing a foam cannon? Technically, yes. However, you could, you could mix more Green Star and go like 50-50 and make it a little stronger, but uh, active foam is chemically designed to be that already out of the bottle. All so. right, so I think that's going to wrap us up here just for a few minutes while we go to break, and then okay. we'll be back to more action in just a moment. Well, hello again. So uh, I was a little mistaken there. I was treating it like it was a normal day where we cut to a break at about the one hour stage and then go on for another hour after that. But actually, 
just kind of did a nice little musical interlude there, so that was fun. But the guys are working behind me on the interior of the Subaru Forester here, and I've got a few questions here. But at the same time, they're mostly comments, so not really something directly addressed to those guys, but more just, you know, what's going on in your world. So uh, appreciate all the comments and everything that comes in. Every time we do these live streams, it's always fun just, you know, getting to hang out for a little while. So thank you for uh, following along as we do this. Now, we just thought it would be a fun little present, you know, for the week since we weren't able to do our normal Q&A Thursday. So to all of you watching live right now, thank you. And to those who popped in simply to say hey and then move along, you're going to watch it later. That's cool, too. We appreciate all of you. So uh, thank you for that. That's what we're thankful for here this week. So just thought I'd throw that out there. But uh, anyway, I've got a different uh, array of comments here. The guys are currently doing the vacuum process. They've used Tornador, kind of blown out stuff, and then they're going through and uh, in some cases using a for real, other times using the flex shop vac. But uh, I may actually throw it over to the guys. It's hard with the vacuum going to really explain what they're doing, but uh, I may have somebody go over there and clean up stuff and the door jams because I was noticing those looking a little dirty still. Somebody can go through with a towel. I may have to tell them myself. We'll see. They definitely can't hear me right now, but at least you can see what they're doing. So that's good. Oh my goodness. That is a whistle. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. Jamie asking the real questions here. Dane, what is your favorite pie? Rhubarb, pecan, or hummus? Why would I have a hummus pie? That's all I'm asking. Why, why, why hummus, hummus turned into a pie? That just seems, no thank you. I'm a big pecan pie fan though, yes. Apple pie, I like cobblers, that sort of thing. Thank you for asking, Jamie. Um, let's take a look here. We got Abel popping in saying, what's up everybody? Oh good, more fun stuff found in the car there. This, uh, this is a legitimately dirty Subaru Forester, so we have that to thank Anthony for providing us. <laughs> um, let's take a look here. So I've got Mazina popping in saying, are you guys gonna be working tomorrow or taking the day off in anticipation of the holiday? Uh, we will be here uh, working tomorrow, Wednesday. We'll be here in the office, so if you plan on stopping by, you can certainly drop by and say, hey, um, we will be out though on Friday, uh, so that's something, uh, just a heads up there. And of course, on Thursday as well, that's uh, the way it goes. But uh, on Friday, if you do place orders and stuff, those will be getting processed and uh, people will volunteer to come in on that, so that's great there. Um, at any rate, just wanted to make sure that was addressed there. So if you have any time you're dropping in, don't expect to find anybody here on Thursday. Oh, look at all the wonderful hair probably from dogs, <laughs> etc. And then I pop up here, got G. Davis. David Cervantes, when the fun wanes, time to scout out some in this cool carpool lane, worked for me twice. Wow, twice. G. Davis, I'm afraid to ask how many attempts were made before the, the two successful times. Uh, I got Kirby Thompson here, I'm late. Please save this for watching later. At least I have my Christmas lights on the roof while weather is dry. Rainy Thanksgiving to Houston Metroplex. Well, maybe a little rainy over there. We actually had snow this morning. That definitely caught us off guard. Big flakes rolling in, but alas, it was only for a couple of hours and none of it really stuck because the ground was still warm enough. I just didn't uh, stick around. Eh, I'm a big fan of snow. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but if you're a fan of snow, uh, hopefully other people don't get mad at you when you tell them that because I seem to run into more people often than not uh, saying, no, please, I don't want that weather. I just like precipitation. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. So what do you guys think? What, what's your opinion on that? Do you just like sunny days? To me, sunny days are kind of boring, but I get for detailing weather. Makes sense. Um, yeah, these guys are hard at it. I don't have any more comments really to throw in there except for Dino popping in with a little more info regarding H901. H901 is a cutting compound that you guys have. H902 is an improved formula, mainly focused on better user experience for DA users. Important to note. Okay, well, I'm going to make sure I run that past Levi so that he's aware, but uh, they may have just referred to it as H9 rather than 01 or 02. But yeah, got that there. 
Okay, so that's pretty much all we've got here. Dane, what is your favorite holiday movie? G. Davis. I'm a fan of Die Hard myself. I love me uh, a good viewing of Die Hard or Christmas Story as a classic, of course. Everybody likes those, but uh, I actually really like Elf. El Elf is one that, you know, spirit of the season, that kind of thing. Still very fun, but uh, yeah, that and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I tend to steer more towards the, uh, the comedies, but older comedies, I don't know, I find some of the newer stuff is just kind of commercial and uh, annoying, but that's just me. Um, other than that, we've got a few more comments rolling in here. Oh, hey, that's a question for Anthony Blaine. Uh, ben CA asking, are those two marks on the armrest? Hey, Anthony Blaine, I got a question for you. <laughs> oh, never mind. Anthony's talking. Okay, so Nick just informed me those are dog nail marks for somebody who was wondering. Wow, it just looks like a bird pecked it to death there. David Sanchez here. They're going to work there. Hey, Seabass. Is not listening to me. Okay, well, this is fun. I'm just trying to get some word from the guys, but the blowgun and vacuum setup they're using. Can you get Levi to talk about that, please? Um, okay. David's wanting to know the uh, attachments he's using. Well, eventually I'll get a hold of him, but you know, that's just the way it goes okay, sometimes. You can't talk about it because of the vacuum? Oh, right. Well, yeah. So there's a lot of noise going on back there. It's. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, guys. I'm trying to get a hold of the guys, but there's a lot of noise going on. Obviously, it's a little hey. difficult to get them to talk about it just now. When they're done, I will bring those back up. All right. Jay Bear asking, when are you going to get Breakbuster back in a gallon? Well, that is a good question, and I unfortunately do not have the answer. However, I will check in with the guys and see what I can find out here a little later in the show. Ben C.A. saying, wow, must be a large dog. I have to imagine that's a, a pretty beefy dog, even all of those claw marks in that armrest. That was pretty crazy looking. Look like a golf ball. A German Shepherd. Yeah, a German Shepherd. That makes sense. So uh, there's your answer. Okay. So while the guys are added out here, obviously there's been a few different products that have been used here. Uh, we've got Polestar here from Koshemi. Definitely one you should be considering. And Green Star. Green Star is what they use mixed in in the uh, shampoo there during the wash segment here. And now obviously they're moving on to the mats, which conveniently enough, just spraying with a pressure washer on top of the reclamation mat makes it easy. And we've got all around surface cleaner. This is essentially just your APC of sorts for this purpose. Um, it's just gonna clean everything you need to get there. Now this is just the stuff I have on the table here. There are obviously many more things going on back there, but today has primarily been a coach product use day. So if you're wondering about what got used, primarily Kosh products today. <laughs> Thank you, Hans. I think that's about the only way to get their attention sometimes is blasting an air horn. But you know, they, they got their heads in their work. That's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> Jamie, yeah, no. If it wasn't a German Shepherd, it could have very well been a Marmot, but I think uh, the Meridian Marmot was busy torturing uh, other Anthony's cars. That's uh, not really Anthony Blaine's problem, more of Anthony Fisher's problem. Then we've got Cynthia here wanting to know what Anthony is using on the mats. Thank you, Gabe. 
Glenn, I believe Anthony's using Polestar on those mats over there, correct? Yeah. So, for those wondering, Koshemi Polestar is what Anthony is using to uh, take away the gunk on those mats. Did you see, was there a drying aid that Levi used when he was working? FSE. He used FSE. Okay. So, to answer Darren's question here, favorite day when you all wash or polish, what drying aid did Levi use? To answer your question, Darren, that was FSE. Koshemi FSE, a.k.a. KCX FSE. And the FSE stands for Finish Spray Exterior. The Germans, they love their acronyms. But basically, FSE, the purpose behind it is to give you a little bit of mineral removal. It's actually made to remove water spots, fresher water spots. It's not going to get rid of those really old baked in ones, but it does stand a pretty good chance of getting rid of any kind of water spotting you may have that's fresh or recent, usually within the last 24 to 48 hours. Any longer than that, eh, you may potentially not be able to remove it with it. But the whole purpose of FSC is that it's a quick detailer also, so it allows you to do some cleaning, some light touch up, and act as a drying aid while also doing that water spot removal, which is really cool because uh, there really aren't many products that can do that sort of thing. <clears throat> so right now, so these mats, the pile on these is pretty thick, and so when there's a pile like that's this thick and that tightly woven, like that dirt that come, that was coming out of it was pretty crazy. So like when I hit it with the, um, I can't even think about it right now. When I hit it with the, the, the blaster, when I hit it with the compressed air, basically like it exploded, right? There was like sand and particles deep within this pile that I didn't, couldn't even see that were hidden. And so which tells me if that's just what's happening from a quick blast of air, these things have just have to be absolutely hammered underneath that. And so I uh, gave them a quick vacuum just to kind of remove any surface sand and then brought them over to the wash bay sprayed them with Green Star, which was at the same 5 to 1 dilution, just because I need the extra cleaning power, and then let it sit on there very shortly, and then right after that, pressure washing everything out. And so the driver's side mat, which was this one right over here, was like the gift that kept on giving. I'm talking, I would go over everything, I would think it's clean, and then it just kept pulling more and more and more brown water out of it. And so uh, kept going until there's nothing left, and uh, it looks pretty good now. So basically at this point, um, we can extract them if we want to do that with the vacuum and try to get rid of any of that extra residual water because if you're doing this and you had a customer coming to pick their car up soon, this is something that you want to do probably early in the day, right? So you have enough time for the mats to dry out. But in today's case, we might go over them with a vacuum just to kind of remove a little bit of that water uh, and then just let them hang dry or you can put them out in the sun to let those dry that way too. Um, but I find that there is a point where you know, just doing normal carpet cleaning and just doing normal stuff has its limits. And I would say even though that this is a still a relatively new car, these mats are just hammered and they need to be pressure washed. So um, no harm in that. It's not going to ruin anything. It's going to be totally fine. Uh, but I have that other passenger side I have to keep blasting out. And then I can bring that over here to let that dry as well. What's our air and vacuum setup? So our air and vacuum setup is a California Air Tools. I can't remember what the, what kind of big of a compressor. I mean, it's inside there. You can go see it. Um, I can't remember the output of it. Um, it's a pretty, I want to say, it's a pretty high high CFM. Uh, you'll have to ask Levi. Levi's the one that ordered it. But it runs our air guns and our air tools totally fine. It's got plenty of power. Um, but for our vacuum setup, we have a couple different vacs. We've got um, this uh, flex vacuum here. And then Levi's running, I think, a rigid vac is what he has on the other side. So we have a couple different vacuums. Levi, what's the CFM on our compressor? But it, it's, it's pretty heavy duty. Yeah, it's very, very good. It's very good. But I don't know off the top of my head. Sorry. It's California Air Tools uh, something, something 20. It's not in their game. But it's a two pump chump, so dual pumps. You know what? Hey Levi. 
Before you close the door on the back room there, I had another question relevant to it. Okay. Oh, that wasn't you. Sorry, that was someone else. Gabe, by the door. I want a camera guy in the back bay. I've got a question regarding our, our hose setup. Okay, so, Ken Jeeper, you're asking, do you have a separate hose and gun setup outside, or do both bays share one? Now, if I could encourage them to turn the camera over, you will see we have our water set up there. That's where the water comes from. Down through the CR spotless system, it gets routed into the Krenzler pressure washer, and then you see a black hose and a blue hose. Now the blue hose that's currently attached to goes inside the room. That's the indoor wash bay hose. But if you plug in the black hose into the Krenzla, you then port it to the outside wash bay. And that's the main point I was trying to make. So Ken Jeeper, I hope that answers the question that you had there. So now you know. But yeah, basically when we want to switch inside outside, that's all we got to do. Just switch over the hose that it's plugged into. Everything after that hose is already dealt with. There's already a gun and wand outside until it gets freezing cold out there. Then we take them inside. Obviously, we don't want the weather to beat them out too much. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I just sprayed it down with ASC, then I used a horsehair brush, scrubbed everything, and now I'm using air and a towel to blow everything out. This is a method that I've been using for 25 years. This is how I've cleaned hundreds of thousands of vehicles. So. <laughs> to wipe down the majority of your plastics and then you're using the air to blow out all the nooks and crannies and get all the stuff out of there. the edges that you don't want. Now, the gun I'm using is a Vortex gun so it's got a little piece of plastic here that spins around in a circle when air is applied to it. What this does is create a, a, a little tornado you, you can also buy them from a company called Tornador. This is just a vortex. Uh, the, the guns are designed to create vortices, and those vortices pull stuff up and out. That's why this uh, little tube is so dirty, is because it's always pulling up dirt. The easiest way to clean these is to stick them in your wash bucket or whatever you want to do. Pull the trigger, and it'll clean all that out. So, But you don't ever have to worry about it blowing it back out. So you can also just take your rag, wipe it around, and keep going. <clears throat> well, while Levi and Anthony are doing that, I've got a question here that uh, Scott wanted to uh, ask me, which was, Dane, how's the van? Oh, never mind. They're talking. <laughs> this is what I love about live. <laughs> okay, so. Scott Mattern here asking, Dane, how's the van treating you? Any buyer's remorse or wish you would have done it sooner? Uh, Scott, I don't regret it in the least. If anything, I do wish I'd done it sooner. I love it that much. It's just so fun. So to anybody wondering, should I buy that small, underpowered, right-hand drive Japanese van? Yeah, yeah, you probably should. Now, this is not financial advice. This is borderline consumer advice, but not really, so don't take me seriously. But for my personal uses and everything. I just love driving that van. I love it. So uh, yeah, would highly recommend as long as you find a lower mile well-kept example, even if it's a little rough on the outside, paints a little iffy or something, as long as it was mechanically pretty sound, especially like a Toyota Town Ace, like uh, what I got, highly recommend. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now back to whatever they're talking about. <laughs>
want it to be at least clean and disinfected and I don't have to worry so much because I know they live in it every day, but I don't ever. So it's kind of a little bit of the, the uh, clean freak in me. Because at least I know the main touch points and surfaces are clean. These door panels here. I'm starting outward, then I'm going to work my way inward. Levi already vacuumed and blew this out, so while the mats are drying over there, I'm going to jump in, knock out the top of the dash, steering wheel, center console. I'm probably going to pull out um, like a detail factory brush and just kind of agitate everything. What's nice though is that ASC smells really good. It's got a nice, clean, fresh scent to it, a little fruity, and so um, it, it just works really well for some reason. It just smells, it works great for just an interior cleaner like this. I don't know. I like it. So what I'm using is a scrub mitt. So load up my scrub mitt, get the door loaded up, and then go through and start agitating everything. And I feel like just the scrub mitt for, from like a, I don't know, a productivity standpoint, it is just the fastest. It's really, really fast. It's not gonna be as, you know, intricate, and it's not gonna be as toothpickery, but like, for tackling large areas, it's great. And then going through with like a detail factory brush to follow up, it's fantastic as well. But what I'm really doing is I'm just kind of just agitating everything, get everything loosened up. And while product is still on the surface and I drop my scrub mitt on the ground, that's when I come back through with my towel and do a little bit more work. And just leaves a nice, good finish. And then we top it with Top Star and it's a, it's a done deal. All right, so as you can see, it's taking all ASC. We probably don't need that comment. On People go, anymore. oh man, you got all the electronics <laughs> and the speaker, and what do we do? As long as you're not sticking your sprayer in and pulling the trigger and soaking your stereo, you should be fine. Same thing when it comes to all your electronics here. I usually run over that with a damp rag, but I still spray my panels and any dirty spots like here heavy dirty spots I like to kind of soak them a little bit just to help break up everything before I start agitating Anthony Blaine, you can't show this to your wife because she'll probably steal it from you and make you drive the van. She'll be like, oh wow, car could get so clean. Told you guys many times, the one reason we do this is even though it's, an, it's a luxury service and an item that most people don't realize uh, is something they want once they receive it, that's when all of a sudden it becomes habit. Many people don't realize that they can just do this every six months or a year by calling a local detailer and getting this done. Um, but that's why we do it. We teach not only home hobbyists that maybe you're interested in this stuff, but detailers and customers what an interior detail or what a full detail or what a compound and polish or paint correction or any of that kind of stuff actually becomes. I had, I famously said this over and over again. I had a customer call me because his wife went to the dealership and was already looking at cars and was trying to talk him into buying a car. And he basically said, look, financially, we're not in the position that we can buy another car or buy a new car. How do I save that? How do I save the car we have? How do I get her to understand that it, the, there's nothing wrong with the car? It's just that it's dirty and it needs clean. And so I said, not a problem, and we detailed the car, and when she realized how clean it was and how nice it was and how it felt like a new car again, they kept that car for another two years, and she started getting the car detailed every six months. So it's something that you can really help a customer out or also just teach a customer. You know, Start with wash stuff like what we're doing here. Do them at your own shop. Do them in your neighborhood. Hop on, you know, do pick a Saturday, and 
hop on next door or whatever facebook and add it and say hey we're i'm doing a little wash clinic at my in my driveway if anybody wants to learn how to clean up their cars you'll inevitably find people are always intrigued by it they always want to learn and even if it's something as small as advertising your own services or just teaching somebody and having somebody help or have a friend who you can talk to or enjoy working on a car together that's a huge huge thing hey levi i got a question for you yeah i got jb over here sent a super chat for 4.99 all right thank you yeah. jb by the way Woo! Woo! we really really appreciate that he says thanks for all the great content keep it up guys quick question would you guys recommend a separate foam cannon for each product or is that overkill that's overkill but <laughs> that go is for totally it. overkill it. get it but you know what? Oh. If it makes you feel better, nobody should stop it. That's that's all you, man. Yeah. Your choice. You can get, <laughs> I mean, you can do foam pros if you want. You can get, I'm going to steal the air here. Let me sneak in here and get the air gun. You already got the back seat though, right? Yeah, I got that. I'm just going to brush the, out. I didn't get the fabric part. Yeah, I'm brushing out the fabric right now. Oh. I'm just kind of getting everything out of there. Wow, G. Davis with the throwback. When will you guys do Jimmy Ellis's 1996 Saturn SW2? <laughs> Blow my eardrums out, why don't you? <laughs> this is like anti ASMR. <laughs> Yeah. You're not wrong. Ooh, it's got X mode. Anthony, I was gonna ask, you don't have a dog, do you? <laughs> I was wondering about that center console there. Yeah, yeah, German Shepherd. Just a little German Shepherd uh, center console attack. Says, Heck action. yeah, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Clearly uses it as a pedestal. Man, it just looks like a potato from here. <laughs> a potato or a golf ball. Am I imagining things, or is the boot on that parking brake incredibly shiny? It looks like Trinity's pants in the Matrix. It's that shiny. <laughs> this the, is wet. the parking brake boot it's looks just like... It's just wet, Dane. It's got cleaner on it. Okay, okay. I thought I was going crazy. I'm like, why is that so much shinier than everything else? The parking lot. The parking boot. Okay. It was just the angle. Made it look like light when it wasn't actually... Yeah, there we go. Nice detail. <clears throat> yeah, no, Glenn's right over here. It says it's a security feature so you don't lose it. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Ken Jeeper wants to know, does the owner of that car have pointy elbows? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the dog did most of the heavy lifting on that front. <laughs> Any more comments for one, Dane? Yeah, Scott Modern actually wants to know a uh, closer look at the brush you were using. He wants to know how aggressive the bristles are. So that was just, it's a horsehair brush. Um, it's, it's not aggressive, the piles just really like tight yeah. together. And so what I like it for is dusting out areas that are already clean. So like Levi, when he's blowing, right, he's getting, <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, when you're, Levi you're really is, cut off. <laughs> 
when Levi is blowing, a lot of that small dust, a lot of small maybe bits and pieces of things might fly over an area. Well, those seats are already clean. I've already gone over them. So I'm just using that to brush things out if, if I can't towel it and get it out through a towel. <laughs> TJ was just loving that I re referenced Trinity's pants. <laughs> They're shiny, okay? What the All right. thing? Yeah, just, you know, obscure niche references. All right. Um, in like one of the most popular movies in 1999. But anyway, <laughs> how's it going back there? It's going. <laughs> All right, so what's being sprayed on the seats now? Nobody responds. <laughs> okay, um, still ASC. Still all surface cleaner. We there we changed. go. That's still what I was spraying that. <laughs> all surface grab. cleaner. There you go. Difference is it's two different bottles. One says ASC. One says ASC. Same stuff. There you go. All right. Brush is just our horsehair brush. You can pick it up from the Rag Company we website. Rag so Levi, I'm going to start getting on the top star on the back two doors. Okay. Okay. So the top star I'm doing like three or four sprays right on the panel and I'll kind of let it dwell for a second, come back through after doing a spray into my towel and then just start spreading it in. I mean there's really no trick to it because basically top star is a product that you're probably already going to clean before applying. So like whether you're using pole star or green star, ASC, go through, clean everything off first and then apply your top star. But I mean the finish on this is just, it looks and feels very nice like a million bucks i got a question here from cynthia english Who? cynthia english wants to know levi is using uh kosh asc full strength but anthony is using it in a sprayer is that correct no, no. Full strength no asc asc is ready to use it's product. already rtu yeah asc is ready to use and so he's using what's left of the bottle but we had compiled product from other previous shoots into sprayers. So there anything go. that we have in gallon sizes, we're gonna try to put in the IK sprayers just to simplify things. Um, but like, for example, Levi had an extra bottle. So they're both the same dilution. Okay, great. Jimmy, thank you for clearing that up. Where the heck did I put, did somebody grab my top star? Somebody switch me? Or did I use FSC on the door? I hope I didn't use FSC on the door. No, I used top star on the door. No, that's top star. Okay, good. Yeah, but this is what makes lives fun. You just gotta see it all happen in real time. Actually, oh man. This next comment, I feel like you guys are gonna go on like an hour long tangent if I tell all you right, this next let's comment. Do it. <laughs> Well, JB, who previously sent a super chat, very helpful JB, All says, right. would you guys ever consider a TRC monthly product subscription service for 35 to 50 bucks a month with Levi and Anthony's favorite selections? Oh, it's an idea. <laughs> I, got, I got two words out of it. That's the opposite of what I expected. It's an idea. <laughs> I think John's, John would have a one word answer, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I think there may be two words, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> one starts with F and the other starts with N. <laughs> um, okay, we got JTM1979 asking, is that an SGS 35 great spray gun? Sure. Which spray gun? He said SGS 35. The, for the IK sprayer? No, okay. Oh, you mean our, oh, for the <laughs> MTM. Yeah, it's an SGS. There you the go. The pressure washer. Yeah, I think you were just referencing before. Yep. So I think I used FSC on a door. 
<laughs> you did? <laughs> I think so. I was like, I was like, because I went to go grab the, uh, the Top Star bottle, and I was like, I think I grabbed the Top Star bottle, but then I grabbed the FSE bottle. So the thing is, I think I'm not a fan of the IK sprayers <laughs> with all with small labels on them. So here's the deal with that. If you're going to run match the sprayers in your garage, you've got to separate for muscle memory. Well, what I would do is I would do, I would do, I would do different colored tulkos. You could do I that do. too, or what you do is do muscle memory. So, like solvents and dressings on the bottom, and quick detailers and glass cleaners and stuff on the top. Because in my shop, I used Correct. white bottles with orange sprayers. Correct. For, what, but what do you do when they're all sitting on the same table? That's why we didn't put them on the same table. We put them on a shelving unit and would mark them this way. And that's how everybody mm -hmm. learned in my shop because I had too many guys that would grab tire dressing that was blue and think of it as window cleaner and then start no. spraying no, blue tire dressing time. all over their windows. That sounds horrible. <laughs> so you've got to train your body in a muscle memory feature. So problem with us is we decided to put them all on the same rack per chemical line. Had we changed it up and did, here's how we're going to do it, you wouldn't have run into that issue, Anthony. Well, no, I just mean like there was two bottles I know, sitting side by side. but I'm saying also if you did the And other I went one. and grabbed one, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> so I can you use that, FSC though. on an interior? Maybe. Should you? No. <laughs> Things happen. We're not perfect. Hey, this is live. That's what happens. This is live. We're not perfect. It just hey, happens. Anthony. Yeah. Hans has some advice for you. What's that? Hans has a tip for you. What is it? Hans says, use the orange pearl to apply Top Star. You will love it. The pearl? The orange pearl. I know. I was going to grab one. I didn't, see any, I didn't see any over there. I just grabbed a creature. I've been using the short side of the creature. It feels pretty good. I Ooh, like... That smells really good. Chloroform. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> gotcha. JB uh, says to Levi, thanks for taking it easy on me, Levi, for asking that question. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy, I'm going to switch your places here. Whose water bottle is that? It's like some uh, honey barbecue sauce up here on this seatbelt. I saw that. Yeah, I was wondering if it was honey barbecue <laughs> or like a hickory smoked. Ooh, maybe some sort of spicy one like Famous Dave's. Well, I have chipotle mayo over here. Oh, nice. Got it. They're like pulling Delicious. a sampler platter out of your seatbelts. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. So my children, prior to any uh, ride or anything we're going to go do, I said, let's go to Pojo's, right? Pojo's is the nickel arcade that children love so much. Yeah. Uh, however, it's a, what, do you, what would you say, Anthony? It's about a 15 minute drive. Yeah. From my house there. Pretty short, yeah, it's not bad. So they brought 12 books. 12? 12 books. Why would they need that many books? I don't know, it was also dark outside and I don't drive with lights on inside the vehicle. Yeah. So I didn't know how they were gonna read said books. Yeah, what was their plan? While driving, but when we got home, I had to have them pull all the books that they had brought for the uh, trip oh. um, to the local arcade. Gotcha. Very strange, but it's a, another thing to be on the lookout for. That's weird. So the I just... child possibly will do the same I thing. I Top Star just on the nav screen just to see what would happen. Yeah. Great. Wow. Flashed off super fast. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm like, Perfect. I'm like, I'm like, that's crystal clear. That's fantastic. Probably anti, it is anti-static too, so that's nice. Cool, Jimmy, you wanna, I'll have you wipe that over there. Ooh, you guys hot? I'm I am. Getting, I'm getting hey, pretty Levi. hot. I got it, I got it, Dane. What is it? Yeah, do you use the Tornador Classic or prefer the blowout gun? Well, that's the, that's the, uh, well, a Vortex gun, it's not even the Tornador. So I like the blowout gun though. Honestly, I'm not a big fan. I don't like spraying 
Tornado Classics because it has the liquid in it. Okay. I don't like spraying because I think what people assume is to put a cleaner in it. That will kill you. Mm -hmm. So use water. If you're going to spray that's it, a, that's a great pro tip use for water in life. a tornado because you atomize it. And that atomization it's gonna be in allows you. it to hit your lungs and all that stuff. It's not good. Yeah. Keep yourself safe. Excellent, excellent point. Yeah, my beard's um, oh, looking dear. good in this live. <laughs> Let's Ooh. see it, Dane. <laughs> Thanks to our friends at the Beard Struggle, uh. you too <laughs> get ready for their Black Friday sale by using the offer code LEVI15. <laughs> get yourself 15% off. These great beard So I like G. Davis beard says, uh, will we get uh, Gabe's tips on gravy prep before the video ends? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Han specified the applicator, not the towel. Oh, so he wants that's you to actually use interesting. Yeah, yeah. The orange pearl applicator. But I think so. What's funny is I think so. I was I I think the other day I was using. I was using an orange pearl applicator. Apparently no, Hansi no, no, no. Didn't, Jimmy. didn't even Jimmy. realize it. Yo. What applicator was I using for Top Star the other day for the video? Uh, a black applicator. Black applicator. Oh, so it and wasn't. You used, a, you used a Pro Puck. Well, oh, and I used a Pro Puck, yeah. Pro Puck's a good so, choice. So yeah, that was, and that, was, that was good. The Pro Puck yeah. isn't quite, it isn't getting to the intricate areas, but I like yeah, Top Star is just awesome. Yeah, you used the Pro Puck awesome. for the dash. Yeah. All right. Hit me well, next. noted. All Hit right, next. that's all the questions we got right now, but I'm sure there'll be more before too long. Oh, speak of the devil, here we go. Mike C, can you use O&R or does it have to be straight water in a Tornador black? I would still use straight water. There you go. Basically, O&R, it would probably be one of the safer options, but still, you are gonna be breathing that in. Yeah. And O&R has a good, you know, a good ability to help remove excess dirt, so you're gonna be breathing, breathing that in as well. And it might specify standard dilution. Yeah. I mean, of water, all the things you could put gonna, in there, it's probably yeah. the most harmless. We're but gonna tell you water, but you know, it's still get, not. You can get you know, something we could really advocate for. <clears throat> what else we got, Dane? That is basically it. So until we get more questions in here, guys, build up your comments, your questions. We've got about. Uh, give or take 15 minutes left here. So throw them our way. We will continue asking the guys questions, getting your comments as they put the finishing touches on the Subaru Forester. Wow. Like uh, not much we day. can do about that center console though. That is by far the gnarliest bit on Detailers. this whole thing. Everything else has come together great. Well, you know what's fantastic? Why would you even try to restore that when you are dri a Amateur drifter. It's bucks. true. You should just buy a new one. And you know one. what? You I keep the old one. Like you, you pin it on a wall in a garage or something. Yeah. Like that's a memory right there. I love that dog. So, uh, you know, in a long period of time, when you don't have that dog anymore, just say, way to remember a buy. So very yeah. nice. But uh, morbid. Oh, uh, Sad. <laughs> I'm trying to put a positive yeah, spin on it. Keep going when you're tired. A little sentimental value there. All right. So... <laughs> G. Davis, Hans will use the pearl applicator for chloroform. Don't recommend that. You know, maybe maybe just nobody messes around with chloroform. That would also be good. Um, Adam here, one for Anthony. This is all you, buddy. One for Anthony. I have an old, badly filled. Oh, I have old, badly filled stone chips on my new Subaru. Um, I want to redo them with Dr. Killer Chip. What would be the best way to remove the old paint? So, Adam. Um, Now's a good time to jump on that right now because Dr. Killer Chip's on like 15% 15, 15 off right now, which is Ooh. pretty cool. Um, and so, be a good time to buy. If you have to, if anybody has to get a Color Chip repair kit, 15% off for their Black Friday deal, which is which is good. So, um, what I would do to remove old bad paint, you know, from a from a bad fill job, probably G Technic panel wipe. Mm. Like that stuff will melt old touch up paint. Which is weird because it doesn't melt Dr. Color Chip, right? Right. So that's why I'm like, Dr. Color Chip's formula is just, it's my favorite. Dr. Color Chip, as the kids say, is built differently. Dude, it's so strong. Yeah. It's just a good, it's just good stuff. And so what I would do, try panel wipe from G Technic, go over it. It's gonna remove probably any wax or sealant you have on there and cause you're gonna use it at full strength. But that should remove any of that old touch up because any Sharpie it's gonna remove, any, any really crummy, like, you know, AutoZone touch up it's going to remove, um, but uh, you'll know if it's a good fill if it doesn't remove it. And then if it doesn't remove that, um, you could also try doing some spot sanding. So basically, I, I've, I've kind of covered this before. 
you can take like a pen or you can take some type of like maybe like pointed object, wrap a little bit of sandpaper around there and try to just simply sand out that chip it, depending on how the size and then go through and refill it. So a couple different ways you can do it. Levi might say lacquer thinner. The lacquer thinner is the answer for everything for him, but not all lacquer thinner will actually remove um, all, all fill jobs and all paint touch up jobs. No, it so. will. Not all. <laughs> it will. It won't remove Dr. Color Chip. Yeah, it will. No, it won't. Yes, it will. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> I've done it. All right, moving on. Well, apparently there's some discrepancy. Uh, <laughs> they color a lot, guys, could help with the console top, I bet. I think they probably could, man. They could, Honestly, but considering that be, the price of a new that lid, would be it may a not. challenge. They would probably fill it with uh, the Leza Filla. Like they could handle those scratches I see in it, like the actual like little tears and stuff. It's the really deep dimples, the divots and stuff that I think, without going like full bondo and filling them in and just putting a new layer of stuff over, that's like the only way to get rid of all of that. At which point, just pull it off and get a new one from you know a junkyard or something. D claw. Is that humane? Uh, that is not. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Especially on a dog. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Now we're talking about cats here. <laughs> no, yeah, no. If a cat did that, you're talking about you got yourself like a puma in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Cougar! Cougar! Cougar. Ah! Uh, yeah. We got Hans here. Saves a lot of product with the barrier in it. Yes, it does, yeah. Hans. Yeah. Uh, then following up. Oh, a little question here for Levi. Yeah. Do you sometimes miss having your shop? Yes. That was from Hans. Yes, I do miss having my shop. Um, I, I miss all my toys, and uh -huh. I got them all here now, so that's okay. But uh, I miss just, you know, my space. Uh, MOSHQ is great, much smaller than my shop, but uh, yeah, I miss it. That's fair. What don't you miss, though? Uh, the employees. The people, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I don't well. miss being a uh, job creator, so to speak. I don't, <laughs> don't miss that at all. I see. Um, I, think, I think if I could do it again and try over and do it a different way, I probably would. So. Hmm. Fair. Okay. Well, that was from Hans, so thank you, Hans. I've got Gino asking, you guys are doing a great job, happy Thanksgiving. So not so much asking, more telling. But thank you, and a nice 918 in your uh, avatar pick there. Uh, I got, well, Jay Tizzle, I'm not sure that's a detailing question, but I'm sure other people have perhaps run into it. Why does my cat keep whizzing in my house and not in the litter box? We're not a training channel, so I don't know if we can really help with that, but we could definitely help on the cleaning well, front. Well, what you do is you get rid of your cat. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, well, yeah, that's uh, Levi's answer. <laughs> and uh, G. Davis simply screaming, Liza Filla. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, yeah, Frank, yeah, replacing the center console in this. You know, it's it's up to Anthony uh, if he wants to do that, but, you know. Well, he's been looking, but it's funny. It's uh, like gold. Uh, it's like a buying a piece of gold, apparently. Because uh, is this a 2018? 2017, 2018? What is it, Anthony? 18. 18. 18. Gotcha. Okay. So still fairly new. You're not going to see much in the way of them in uh, junkyards, really. Uh, and then we've got... <laughs> GR, wow, I'm just being shifted all around here. Okay, there we go. GR saying, Levi uses lacquer thinner as an aftershave. Now, I don't right. know that for a fact, but Why do you I think my beard is so full? Wouldn't doubt it. Thanks well, to my friends with lacquer thinner and the beard struggle. <laughs> I like to imagine it's how you get such crisp lines. Yeah. You know, that, that shave line is really something. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Frank L., Nice to watch live and hang, fellas. Thanks. Thank you, Frank. And uh, he wants to know when the Black Friday pricing starts. Starts on, uh, it starts today or tomorrow, okay. I mean. Well. The only way to know that, though, is to make sure you sign up for the newsletter. That's right. Got to do that. So, but it is, sale starts tomorrow. And if you want to know exactly when it happens, you have to sign up for the newsletter. Go to the ragcompany.com, sign up for the details, throw in your, uh, 
email address and make sure to check your clutter and your spam and your junk. Not even that. not even our Instagram or our Facebook or anything are as timely or specific as the actual newsletter. The newsletter is spot on. Then I've got Peasant here saying, love detailing Subaru, great quality material and carpet. Followed up by Sean here saying, this was great as always. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Sean. Frank popping in with a, the Koch All Surface Cleaner is the best for interiors. Is that what you're using? Everybody should try it. Yes, that is what the guys were using inside. What's the question? The Forrester. Uh, Frank was asking if you were using Koch All Surface Cleaner, and yes, you yep. were on the interior of the Forrester there. Then I got G Davis here. Oh, going sappy on us. Thank you guys for doing this. It's almost two hours I've been able to legitimately ignore my family. That's what we Happy try. That's what we're here for, man. That's what we do, man. That's, you know. that's about as sappy as G gets. We want to get you out of those tough <laughs> situations. Yeah, Sa save you from, uh, you know, right, close family. Here. That's important. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, oh, all right. I've got Joey Belinsky here. Anthony, you go ahead and help me with this one because no. uh, he's a little preoccupied back there. Let me get this up on there. Joey says, I'm eight weeks post-op on a double foot surgery and my brand new GTI has been neglected in my driveway ever since. Recommended adding APC to my phone can and when I'm able to wash again? Question mark. He this time of year? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Or the fall, any type of pollen, anything that was coming out of the air, you know, within this last month. It wouldn't hurt, especially if it's been sitting there for a minute. So, okay. yeah, do it. Yeah. There's no harm. No harm in doing it. And then last year, I've got G. Davis popping in saying, my son wants to know if Hans Closen is available for kids' parties and hostage situations. Um, the, the, <laughs> the latter is definitely, oh. you know, what, what he's nowadays. Right? Well, you don't want to be an active participant, but yeah. yeah, well. Okay, thank you for that, G. All right, so guys, gals, everybody in between, if you got anything left to throw in here, we have five minutes a vacuuming courtesy of Levi back there. Anthony's here at the table. We can both answer your questions if you have them, comments if you have them, whatever else. Otherwise, this is pretty much us just putting the tail end on this detail before the Thanksgiving break of sorts. Mm. So uh, bring them in. What We're do you got? Looking a heck of a lot We're better waiting. though, I will say. Well, how did it feel working on that? Was it too much work? Was it just right? What's the deal, Anthony? Two people is just uh, two people. It was it was it was it was good. I know okay. Levi's probably like, hey, can you come help some more? <laughs> He's um, like, yeah, I'm still working. <laughs> hot. I'm hot and bothered right now. Uh, I need a piece of candy. Oh. You have any? Do you have a Snickers on you? I don't. I just have this. Uh, cool. you know, I have electronics on me. That's mm. about it. <laughs> well, um, yeah. So no, it wasn't that bad. It just realistically on that car. Um, we would need we needed to take the front seats out. I oh, I okay. would have wanted to take the front seats out because there's some stains underneath there that are just embedded. Now that's actually a valid conversation though because I think Levi would refuse to take those seats out. See, and I would just do it. Yeah, I would. I'm a I'm a I'm a seat taker outer because I believe in a product called Loctite. But mm. sometimes those are one way bolts though, so you just have to do some research. Exactly. And make sure that uh, once they come out, they can go back in. Yeah. Now, to answer G. Davis's question here, there are 36,000 miles on the Subaru Forester behind us here. It's pretty low. So, pretty good. I would say it wouldn't look it uh, after this detail, except for that center console with its wonderful uh, reminders left behind by Giant German Shepherd. So, <laughs> uh, Nick here, how do you guys like the Flex back? So, we actually. Yeah. is still technically very dirty. If you guys are looking to <laughs> clean it in any way, shape, or form, you can use Polestar or Express or Carpet Bomber, Terminator, any of those things. Use a stiff bristle brush, throw it in a sprayer, spray or foam the carpet, give it a brush, and then just hit it with your vacuum. It's an easy, easy, easy way, especially with winter coming, salt, all the dirt and grime and slush that you're gonna be stepping in. Uh, easy way to clean your car, keep your carpets looking clean and fresh, best way you possibly can. I just wanted to say that because I'm noticing that we, we didn't clean them very well. 
Hey, uh, Levi, clean, question for you. That clean. Levi? What, Dane? How do you like using that flex vac? Uh, I'm not using the flex vac, I'm using a metro vac. Oh, well. So, uh, I like that little metro vac. It's really strong. Sucks. Amazing. Okay, but yeah. Nick was asking about the flex one. So, Nick wants to know about the flex So, the vac. flex one's nice. Um, it's got plenty of power. It's also got a power outlet on it. So, if you're mm. mobile or you're doing any of that kind of stuff, uh, it's great for you because you can plug in tools and equipment. And flex makes a ton of different attachments as well for it. Okay. Why am I the only one that's so hot and sweaty? No, I'm sweaty. I'm so hot. You guys are looking a, like cool as a No, cucumber. I had a bead that dripped down the middle of my back down uh, to the oh, okay. under area. Yeah. All right. Now, so, I, now, so I'm scooting over this way. You guys go ahead and join oh, in on the table. Yeah. We can all kind of so, fit in here. At this point in time, right? It's so like Levi was saying, you can give the carpets a quick scrub, right? We're not gonna do that because the mats are gonna go back in right over the top, but yeah. you could absolutely do that, right? Especially in the middle sections on the well, rear seat. Well then crack, seat. crack the windows, run the heater. Yeah. You can crack the windows and run the heater in your garage, not fully, make sure your door's cracked. Uh, or just leave the windows, leave the mats out, yeah. leave the windows down or cracked and let the car breathe for at least 24 hours before you put those mats back on yeah. uh, the wet carpet. Because they're soaked, right? And so you, yeah. just, you wanna give them time. But that's why it's, if you're doing this in the summertime, it's the first thing you wanna knock out and yeah. go and throw them in your driveway or throw, throw them wherever their sun's hitting them, they'll be dry by the end of the day. Yeah, You'd be good to fast. go. But around this time of year, uh, what's going to happen is they're so wet that we're going to throw them in the back of his car and say, hey, put them <laughs> in your garage. He's like, I put them in my garage. They froze overnight. Yep. And awesome. He's going to have to put them in his Love house yeah. or something. Put them somewhere like the bathtub maybe. Yeah. Who's but, got an um, answer for Bob here? Bob says, hello, TRC. An update when the smitten glass mitt will be back in stock. Thank you and happy things to It's gonna be about six months. It's currently under redesign and uh, with current shipping uh, delays and stuff, we've got a bunch of containers on the water already that we gotta go through. And then on top of that, they still have to make it. And then once it's made, then it's gotta get packaged and shipped. So, oh, so it's gonna, gonna be about six months. Uh, and if you so. want it faster, you know, just put it in a good word, right? I know three guys with black jet skis with green underglow. We might be able oh, to go wow. get them. We might be able to go out there and maybe <laughs> hij furious them. hijack hmm. some stuff. Okay. Well, Anything and then I've else? got just a, a few more here. Hans wants to let you know he'll be painting the floor of his detail bay tomorrow. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Very Hans. nice. He's, uh, he's getting ready for when we arrive. Oh, visit. yeah. Well, and then the last two here, I've got JB and G. So JB saying, will a two by two square, a bubbling clear coat cause issues with ceramic coating down the road? Should I fix that first? I bought the short winter kit. Is that a better question for Levi? Two by two square of bubbling clear coat. Yes, it's gonna cause issues, not because of the ceramic, but because it's bubbling clear coat. It's gonna, it will spread. Yeah, it especially you're coming into winter. It's going to be very difficult. So, so yeah. I would probably stick a piece of vinyl over the top of that square. Uh, so you, uh, yeah, what, it's literally going to yeah. get moisture every morning. It's just going to crack and break and crack and break and crack and break. Well, you can put yeah, you can put a piece of you can do that right, or you could like it, if it if it was bubbling and if it was like a big square right, and I could see moisture getting underneath it right. I might like kind of cut around the outside and kind of razor blade it as out, much right? as you mm -hmm. can. Razor blade can the ra edges. Razor blade yeah. the edges, so and that way, as smooth as possible. You can lift it, and then you can kind of sand it down a little bit, and you can kind of smooth out that edge to where hopefully it won't lift again. I have a spot um, on the bumper of my uh, of my little Honda Civic that mm -hmm. it started bubbling. And I razor bladed it off, and then I actually went over the whole area with Dr. Color Chip and kind of like filled it with paint. Filled it with paint, right? Hasn't caused me an issue since. Yeah, the oh. biggest thing is I went through with my Elantra, the back bumper. Yeah, it was Had bad. a little bubble, yeah. then another little bubble, and I just ignored it to see what would happen. 16 years old, thinking, why, why not? That back bumper has completely almost erased all oh, the clear oh, coat oh. in less than eight months. It was a very fast It was crazy breakdown. how fast. We were, Anthony and I were watching it for scientific reasons and <laughs> uh, being very surprised how much clear was this it was, was just was, coming off. I was asking, so, like, are you peeling it off? And you're like, I haven't touched it. I'm yeah. like, really? It's literally just frost in the morning. That dew gets on there. The moisture slides underneath those. It's just like what's happening to Nick's uh, uh, Sequoia where yeah. the paint is peeling on the, Oops, air, on the mud flap or on the uh, flare. Yeah. Same kind of thing. You just get moisture, it seeps under. So learn how to hone a razor blade. Round the corners with some sandpaper and then make sure you hone it on glass. That way you can, uh, you're can you not going to cut a lot of stuff. And then just go on that paint and just and make it worse scrape, to make it better. <laughs> scrape all that off. That way you can get, get, it, get it so it's flush. 
It's the okay. biggest thing. The very last question. I think this is a nice way to top it off because there are always people wondering what you would charge for something like what we just did here. Uh, exterior, well, we haven't really interior. done anything. This is kind of a wash and a vac setup. Yeah. So um, what we've kind of done was uh, what I like to do would be at my shop back in the day, I charged $75 for what we just did to the interior because of the dog hair. I probably would have bumped them another 25 bucks and like, bucks, hey, 100 yeah. bucks for the interior. And then the wash itself was about 125 bucks on its own um, at my shop at the time. And so that was, I mean, that was almost seven years ago, that pricing. So you're talking maybe 200, 220 all in. I could see that probably still doing that 200 to 250 range. Hmm. I would, I would, we I would do this today for 250. Yeah. If we added carpets and did a one step Uno Protect with some bead maker and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd probably bump it more to the three fifty, four hundred dollar range. Okay. For what we did. Now, just before we go here, I was hoping one of the mobile crew here could do like a little walk around of the car, just to show you know interior, exterior, just a quick pass by, yeah. and just show what uh, a difference it made versus there, there, when we played yeah. the uh, See intro if one of reel gets there. Sea bass. That uh, Jimmy did. Just to take a look, because I yeah. think a lot of people see it going on in the background, but now that we're, you know, not actively waving stuff around. Well, the passenger the side still needs vacuumed. Yeah. But all yeah. in, a lot cleaner. I mean, the paint looks great. Yeah, I mean, it does. I mean, just a little bit of nano magic on it, right? After mm -hmm. doing an active foam, I think the paint looks pretty dang good for what it is. And uh, especially for a car that hasn't been polished. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it looks really good for a car that hasn't been polished. But then again, it also hasn't seen a lot of car washes Yeah. Mm. either. What, uh, what way do you normally take care of it, Anthony? The car wash. Car wash? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how often? Uh, at, least, at least a couple times a quarter, usually. I have it for the last probably quarter and a half or so. But. So a couple times a quarter. Yeah. Okay. And that's so actually not probably the best. too frequently. Right. Not frequent enough to really cause damage. Right. Um, but enough that when we do clean it the right way, it cleans up really well. Okay. Well, good to see so. there. All right. Well, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get a little, uh, little pass through there. Just I so love people that get top star. It's just to a nice, clean matte finish. Very on there. That's clean. nice. It nice. looks, it looks new as opposed to looking yeah. too. Well, I couldn't believe that I used it. I, I used it on that display, that center display. It's a glossy center display, but it like flashed off mm -hmm. extremely fast, and it was like a streak-free finish. Yeah. So that was good. pretty. That was pretty cool too. So. Um, yeah, not a perfect interior detail, not a perfect exterior detail, right? But for 250 bucks, hey, right? If that's a, what you would charge. Wash and talk. That's what we yeah, did. Wash that's and what talk. it was. Looks All clean. right, guys. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Anything left to throw in there before we go about our day? No. I just hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I hope is. you guys stay safe. I hope uh, you take advantage of the uh, Black Friday sale happening tomorrow. Yes. I hope you get full. I hope you get stuffed. <laughs> I, <laughs> Flint's turkey. Yeah. Oh, and then <laughs> one last thing that we'll leave you with. Ah. Um, on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, there's a special treat coming out on the Rag Company podcast channel. Yep. It's Go something that you've channel. all been requesting for very long. Um, should I spill the yeah, beans? Just tell them. <laughs> Tony's Wings. Oh, man. Dane Eats. Oh, man. It's happening on the Rag Company <laughs> right. podcast channel. It's everything you've ever wanted and a Dane Eats Tony's Kitchen, Tony's Wings collaboration. It's hilarious, it's a lot of fun, um, and you get oh, to wow. learn my secret ever-changing <laughs> wing recipe. Secret <laughs> changing recipe. Yeah. So, it's like a maze that that's, always changes. That's not Surprises how the recipe maze runner. is supposed to work. <laughs> Love it. So anyways, check it out, but that's it, that's all I got. Yeah. Okay, go. well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening along. And if you're watching this sometime in the future, I hope you're subscribed to the channel so you can capture more stuff like this. And of course, in addition to the subscribe button, hit that bell so you actually know every time we drop a video, that's very helpful as well. So with all that said, you guys have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, say hi to your families for us. Maybe get them hooked on TRC. Yeah. Too. I think that's a good idea. All right. Everybody, take care. We'll see you later. Say hi to your mom for me.